to cut in on the passions intro, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do to play Armored Core, which is what I'm going to do. I'm excited. I'm in New Game Plus now, so it should be easy, right? I'm just skating through the game now at my leisure, experiencing, experiencing the journey. With the most powered guns, ultimate leveled up stuff, easy. I have to, uh, I need to, I need to get the rest of the OS tune. I spent, I spent my points poorly. Ibis is quite a bit spicier New Game Plus. Oh, the well, missions actually change? Easy. Yeah, there are multiple endings, CK. I got one of them. Actually, I should put Good New Game Plus in the title. It's an open call from the Archibus Group, one of the extraplanetary corporate forces. To all independent I'm actually going to listen to the briefings again. I would like to get a better handle on the story and the various players involved. The operation will take place in it's Britain Planetary Liberation, Archibus, one other corporation, right? Is to destroy an and then, like a fourth party? Dalfung, a Balaam company, and a competitor. I'm trying to remember, it's all just like... I'm trying to pull it all back. In yeah, Balaam, PCA. In the the, you, the RLF. ...are the key to maintaining our lead in the Coral Survey race. The Archibus group looks forward to news of your success. I mean, this, man, the, Armored Core really, really armor. is, like, a yeah, very faithful hunt. Armored Core game. Oh, yeah, R.A.D., forgot about them. Um, it's just, like, a lot of factions fighting over, res uh, like, a, a, a crazy new resource, basically. Um, I feel like more than ever, like, Armored Core 6 actually, story-wise, does all the things previous Armored Core games really struggled with. Which is, have characters that are unique and interesting, and have motivations, right, individuals, but also uh, groups that they're a part of that are also distinct and have motivations. Um, Armor Core games in the past it was just like, okay, there's three parties, but they're all interchangeable. Specifically for from your perspective, as somebody who just gets paid to do whatever they say. They were getting better about that. Now you need a rep. Have you tried he heavy shotguns? The Zimmermans? Or is there a heavier shotgun? I've tried those, yeah. I, I don't like those as much. <laughs> People say they're overpowered, but <clears throat> they didn't really solve the game for me. I go comics. Thanks for the tier three sub. Oh damn! Activating combat mode. But stun needles look so ridiculous. Wipe out the Dafang MT squad. Oh god, hi. I, I was pretty messed up yesterday. I did not drink nearly enough water. Which is a lesson I keep thinking that I've learned. Dual shotguns was only good for me early game, mid to late game was getting rolled over with that layout. Yeah, it's... Uh, I guess if you're really good at, like, disc spacing and, like... Adjust the claw a little bit. If you're, like, hyper good at, at maintaining the right distance, um, I feel like you could bait out attacks and then use the Zimmermans to punt it. But that's already, like, more nuanced than people make the Zimmermans out to have. I was never able to just... Like, shove them directly into the boss's face and pull the trigger and win. I would shoot them, they would not get stunned, and then I would just get wrecked. Because I'm just sitting there like an idiot in close range. Commander Michigan. The enemy MT squad has been eliminated. That's it for this job, 621. See here. Return to base. There was a period of time around Gen 4 where they tried something different, like how the shop is handled in the arena. I think 6 maybe notice both the shop and the arena are 1 to 1 ripped from Gen 3. Pretty much. And and that was good. They're, uh. Like the fact that the arena is kind of separate from the campaign still, instead of trying to mush it all together. I kind of like that. I like that there's a gameplay incentive for doing the arena, the OS tuning stuff. And that, that incentive is so direct. 
points. Like, you get points, you spend them on flat upgrades, which is a kind of a new thing. I mean, it is a new thing. I guess there was tuning before. That's kind of what that is. Um, yeah. I, uh, I do like that they didn't try to proceed with it as an online co-op action, almost games of service platform, which is where it was kind of going with Armor Core 5 and Verdict Day. So very, very glad they rolled it back to, like, four-answer territory, where they're like, man, fuck that. Let's just make the fastest, ball-slappingest mech action game we can. So much of 5 and Verdict Day felt like they were, like, concessions and gameplay wrapped around the the premise of, of being online. Of You just have to slow the tick rate of the game down to, make, uh, to like, accommodate for 2013 internet. Oh, Dionyx, no, I, I have no desire to play PvP in this game. Getting my ass kicked by uh, the PC is enough for me. Uh, I like... <clears throat> let me think how to say this. I like challenges that have rewards that are game assets. So I'll play a difficult video game because I get to see a cool ending, or there's like story bits in there, or artwork. Uh, level level design, set pieces, whatever. All the stuff that you get to behold because you got over that hump. If you if you play games online, I get I get that the thrill of competition is its own reward, but if you win, you go back to the same menu you were in before. Raven, this request comes from yeah, bespoke Alpha, content. This way, uh, I get my ass kicked, and also I get to see a cool new video. Target for this mission is a squad of transport choppers. Destroy them. So Balaam is like they're like the military cosplayers. MTs. They're no great concern. You performed adequately in your last sortie, Raven. This did not go unnoticed. Hey, Captain! We'll thank you very much for the sub. To see what you bring to the team. Glad your sub streak was was retained. Now they're asking for you by name. I think the draw PvP is more based on how almost no match in the is the game Keep or is the same as run. another. Yeah, you can probably. I'm sure that the that well, there's that aspect too. I'm not giving people's imagination enough credit. That it must be fun to Maybe face up against increasingly stranger robot builds. I'll play through this the second one. New game plus. Con Liberation Front Transport Choppers. Oh, yeah. I'm using my scan scan helmet. Use the Cyber Club with 14. No, I would be scared to. I don't. There. Yeah, there are enough, but. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, there are enough buttons. But the the muscle memory is so baked in at this point. Where is the meta right now in Armor Core Day John? I'm curious. Hey Josh guy. Thanks for the sub. been stunned. It's almost like I've done this before. Yeah, I saw that respawning panda. It seemed to, the patch seemed to mostly, I guess they, well, the patch notes said they adjusted 
some of the bosses, which probably means that they made them easier. And then, yeah, a lot of the guns seem to have their damage uh, increased and, like, reload times reduced. So, weapons stronger, bosses easier. Sometimes I wonder... <laughs> I wonder if... I lo like I said, I like a challenge. It doesn't bother me. I'm glad that they made it the way they did. At the same time, though, it was a little heavy. For, for, yeah. Even if you want to, like... It, it's not bad if you presume that people have played Armored Core before, but also it's been 10 years since the last one that was, like... I don't know. It was It was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. It was harder than Sekiro. It was harder than Souls. That's how it felt to me. You could like, I guess you could find bosses in Sekiro that would, they would whip you about as hard as bosses in Armored Core do. You could go find them, but they weren't on like the main path. <laughs> Maybe they were, but even still, sheesh. What was the wall in Sekiro? I guess for me it was the bull. Oh, the monkey? Huh. Yeah, I guess that one was I guess that one was pretty bad. The tutorial boss was bananas. I that might be the hardest tutorial boss, like mandatory tutorial boss, in any game. I can't think of. The, I think I often think about the boss at the end of the first level in Ninja Gaiden, like the the reboot Ninja Gaiden. That's a pretty like huge, huge moment to be like, this is the game, or this is what you're in for. And if if this isn't the kind of thing you want, it's good that you're just out now. Oh, Genichiro? Yeah, a lot of people said Lady Butterfly as well. I guess. Lady Butterfly, like some of those bosses are like the first full Sekiro bosses, sort of. They have all the, back, six, two, all the hallmarks, complicated the attack patterns, faints. I don't, that dude, three. but I'm hoping that... But I remember some of the mission decisions I made. The I'm also innovation. hoping that it marks the it's ones you played, job, six, two, one. but we'll see. All of it. Anyway, with it, just without judgment, more observing that Armored Core 6 was quite a bit harder <laughs> than even hard games. Got a job for you, 621. It's an open call from the Archibus group. To all independent mercenaries, this request comes from Schneider of the Archibus group. Oh, good point, Dolphin, Captain. One Let's of look at the replay option. Them, has introduced a new tester AC. It's a sample model from an external architect, featuring extensive assembly optimizations. In the hands of an experienced pilot, it will pose a threat far too great to ignore. This brings me to the request. Some people say it's too easy. Of the tester AC and destroy it. Compared to what? The there is not a mech game harder. Of your success. Uh, Steel Battalion. Briefing over. Is harder than this. Hunting. Maybe. I have to play it again to really. Re I remember just getting whipped at that game. And the, the, like, punishments were even more severe. Chrome Hounds? I mean, I guess. Different game. Fundamentally different game. Also was online, so yeah. Also, it's PvP. I don't know. You can't, you can't complain about a game's difficulty when it's got online. Go online and get wrecked. Kill the anime protagonist to this mission? Oh, the, the, Activating combat mode. the pilot who just wanted to be a, if you leave him, if you let him live, does he show up again later? He's like a full AC pilot. I've never, I mean, I didn't let him live the first time. Why would I do that? He just kills you. Oh. <laughs> I, think, 
think there's a poppy seed on my mouse pad. I feel it rolling around. I just, <laughs> a little I just, corpse flopping. Sorry, bud. You're delivery boy. Enemy AC destroyed. That's it for this job, 621. Return to base. Let's go home. Hey, who's that? <laughs> he was watching Pokemon on his like iPod touch. Michigan, about leaving 621 with the red guns. Uh, Handler Walter, forgot to mention something. The Liberation Front's changing the strategy, been cozying up to independent mercs. Great news, if it means more work for 621. They can try whatever tricks they want. The red guns are ready to smash some heads. One new message. Yeah, comics, I agree. I was just saying that. Like, this game does a really good job of making all the characters distinct. Uh, and they do that. Like, voice cast is part of it. The characters are not only unique in personality, but they all have kind of... Very unique... Vocal styles? Saying like, yeah, glad they got a wide variety of VAs instead of just the typical anime VAs. Yes. New Game Plus moment coming up. where all the Balin dudes yell at you and do a bunch of push-ups. Got a job for you, 621. You're joining an operation planned by Balin HQ. Check the briefing. Heard the good news from Walter, did you? Good. Sit your ass down and listen. in on the Gallia Dam complex, one of the Liberation Front's bases. The objective is to destroy their lifeline and make those sacks of shit big for mercy. I'll be sending two good-for-nothing maggots from the Red Guns. Oh, I Gun forgot for Iguazu's here. Five Iguazu. Fucking Iguazu. You? You're just gonna be tagging along on ass-wiping duty. I'm assigning you the call sign Gun 13, a lucky little number that just became available. Gun 13, sound off! <laughs> Michigan uh, rules. Now go get ready! We're uh, going on a field trip, kiddo! I guess theoretically I don't have to kill him this time. Gun 13, huh? I'll stick with 621. Don't let the red guns teach you bad manners. Well, oh. I mean, kind of. Somebody else meant. Somebody else asked if you can commit genocide in this game, like in four. Answer. <laughs> yes, the answer is you can. Although it does. Uh, yeah, you can. It might require a bit of a fuzzy definition on what life is. Doing the whole mission for you. The whole thing. I told you why we're here. Well, as free the red guns are gonna go climb the wall. This is just target practice. All we're done, the local school base is next. Can't take yourself away from chatting with a tag along. Why don't you start a sewing club together and stitch that damn mouth of yours shut? Two targets destroyed. Uh It's interesting because it's it's a bit much when you're first starting the game. You're like 
you're kind of overwhelmed just by learning how to play and taking in the setting. And it's so much more interesting to play through it again and be able to track these characters a lot better. Oh, we want you to take out the cool. Our compensation will be double Balaam's offer. Awaiting your response. That rocks. Fuck him up. Your call, six two one. Absolutely want to murder them. Oh, your cooperation is appreciated, Raven. Six two one. Luckily, Rusty's not here. Friendly ID tag from the Liberation Front. Let's not waste their firepower. These days I'll be able to kick someone, and it'll be awesome. All right, Volta, awesome. that's not the only thing you're losing. But good job getting wasted by the tag along. <laughs> Shit, man! Watch it, Holy friend. fuck, Michigan! Going down like Volta. Holy fuck, dude! No one's stopping me. Oh. Brutal. Dude, don't even. Actually, yeah. Right. So Iguazi's been like, he got like dad, dad issues from Michigan. <laughs> he was too close. Yeah, Strider, the the first playthrough is, is pretty baffling. And in that way, it's actually pretty similar to... Uh, there are a lot of, like, anime and visual novels that are kind of crafted that way. Oh, he lived. lucky, Merc. So, you got a nice punch in. <laughs> Go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> the red guns are going to be first over the wall. Have fun watching from the sidelines. Uh-huh. So I guess they can eject or something. We just kind of assume that if they die in a story mission, they're not dead dead. They have to scream. Bleh! Oh, damn. Yeah, no Wilhelm scream. No death. Got a job for you, 621. This one's a request from the Archibus group. Raven, this request comes from Schneider, an Archibus subsidiary. Why the early stream? In the hmm. Dea dunes of I was awake. Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Your attack will focus on the Eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. Okay.
Uh, now I never really went back to try to extract kid audio. Luckily, that kid's easy to find. Time for a little self promotion, 621. <laughs> Some of the kid VO in Starfield is really fun. And it's a weird thing to, to have in a game. Usually, video games pretend kids don't exist. I found a oh man. Space Frog is my favorite. Renee? I was in the middle of the Space Frog quest and then I New Game Plus, so I gotta go find Space Frog again. Commence mission. First, get through all that dust to make Space Frog just makes people happy. That identified AC. Must be one of the corporation's dogs. Activate the eye. Burn them away. Yes, sir! Coral! Abide with Rubicon! Abide with Rubicon. Ran out of energy and then a ramp popped me up in the air. Tail's oldest time, really. Ah, shouldn't have done that. Have a surge from energy to the eye. Watch out. Burn you to ash. Nicked by one of the missiles? We have made it the high laser. All hands, prepare for close range combat. Intercept. Game Plus, baby. It's like going to the spa. We can't take any chance. Keep double the ring. Trying to kill them. Head to the middle. Ah! We can't take the enemy AC. Remember, we fight for the coral. <clears throat> Defend the sub generator. We fight for the coral. Ah, that sucks. Phew. Okay. Sub generator destroyed. Three to go. I'm supposed to. what it does? Huh. What the? Really smack my shit on that? <laughs> Starting the big COD marathon this week. That's the plan. Yeah, this Friday. This Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. I'm gonna start with a subathon. Starting with the original Call of Duty. Reading more of Turbot's book. Um, and then I need to find a, a backup book. I thought I had a novelization of Triple X. Remember the hardship that made Maybe I just need to buy another copy. Remember, that was Rubicon burn. We endure. We're losing the shield, sir. Just one left. The Strider is the flag. 
Cod and bod, every time he dies, five push ups. That's not, not a bad idea. Could read Ben Shapiro's right wing masturbation book? Maybe. I do like reading, uh, I think a, <laughs> what's emerging as a real fun favorite is like poorly written action fantasy that's really just like an excuse for the author to whine about political shit. Okay. We're not through yet. Throw them our pride. No repair kits remaining. Start! The eyes of the critical state! That's his book to a fucking T. Yeah, but I don't want to like. I'd rather find an art an author who's desperately trying to, to break into that shit, as opposed to like Someone who's already got a, a brand and a successful... I don't want to give money to him, basically. No. Yeah. We can't lose the Strider! Confirmed. Target destroyed. And it looks like all that energy it was sucking up has nowhere to go. All right. Move 621. You need to get clear of the Strider. Did you read Last Vampire on Earth? I do have that still. Yeah, maybe, maybe that'll just be the backup. Big Kim Jong Un. Thank you very much for the sub. See that six two one. The Strider's blowing itself up. It's real short. Yeah. It had big, big fonts. Wide spacing. I uh. Maybe between that and Turbot's book, maybe that'll round out a subathon. bad apologetics books what's an apologetic book it was written after the movie so we could pretend it was like twilight yes the best books have motivations outside of just being a good book i want my books political you must be the handler i presume for the independent mercenary raven mm. honored to make your acquaintance v2 snail i understand you want to join operation wall climber you do realize that disposing of some Liberation Front garbage hardly qualifies you. Know your place, you meager dog-sitter. The answer is no. Mm. I hear you're deploying V-1 again. Must be rough only having one good pilot to rely on. Nice. Get him, Walter. Oh? Are you suggesting your dog can take Freud's place? You'll see. Just give us the chance. Very well, then. We're also deploying V4. Mm. Who's been equally brazen of late? Let's see how they both perform. Mm. <laughs> so good. Uh, Christian apologetics. Really bad reasons to be a Christian. Mm. I mean, I'm kind of into that. If it's like One entire stories advantage. that that seek to desperately validate the Christian belief and lifestyle. I mean, it's kind of similar to, uh, I am thrilled it's similar in technique to, to like, request. conservative action Allow fantasy, because yeah, I at the end, everyone, everyone agrees that on. the Christians were right, hey, hey, or something like that. At your service. I think I'll enjoy doing wow, this God really thing. is real, says everybody, nodding. Oh, I don't, I, I don't really have a place for recommendations. I'm not really soliciting recommendations because I I have a fair amount of books. Unless there's some real real juice out there. I watch this drive. <laughs> Let's this see request right. comes straight from Archibus Head. God is by Almondo Calvo. They want okay. you to assist with I'm a mission. The corporations are calling Operation Wall Climber. 
This is V2 Snare, leader of the Vesper Second Squad. I will chair the briefing for this mission. This is an operation of my own design. Consider it a privilege to be called to participate. Ask goblins of Auschwitz. The wall, a key trading outpost for no, I haven't read anything by Cameron Pierce. Front. Doesn't sound very subtle. It can't be self-aware. That's the problem. And and sometimes with uh, trigger warning, I was like, wait a minute. Okay. Like they know. They they know. The best cringe is entirely sincere. Destroy it. V4 will also be participating in this mission, infiltrating through a separate route. However, be aware that Balaam has also taken a crack at the wall, only for their vainglorious hopes to be dashed. Do try not to die like a dog out there. Mm -hmm. Need to find some novelizations of David Decoteau films? Jesus. They barely have scripts. <laughs> How are they going to be books? Your it would be a hell of a thing. To be able to step into the mind of any of David Decoteau's characters. Show them you're worth the credits. Six to one. But God, God bless those gentlemen. Uh, I imagine there's not a whole lot of, of fiery activity upstairs. I can send you a magazine of dudes with little clothes on them. That's a that's what it amounts to, isn't it? That's basically it. Ah, uh, there's always there's always more overtones. Sometimes. But yeah, that's basically it. They have to wander around a Coke mansion in a fugue state for at least 10 minutes. In addition to uh, padding out runtime, my theory is that each of those sequences is like... There must be some kind of like stat about how long it takes the dude to jerk off. And you would probably want your scenes to be like that plus maybe one minute. Just for the outliers, the slow movers. Now, surely, surely there's an actual ta actuarial table out there, right? It's just got it all plotted around. Predictability you can set your watch to. Mean time to come, exactly. Getting. I'm not supposed to come back here yet. Still got him a little bit. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> At least lucky. Sorry, RLF. Sorry, dude. Bowels. That significantly reduces the threat in the city. There's an archive you passed on the Hmm. Like one of the ones you have to scan? Scanning even, well, scanning even highlight it through walls and stuff, or is it only enemies? Not those. Okay.
Oh, you mean the thing, this thing? I think it's on a road. Well, there are roads here at least. It doesn't really matter. Those are just like extremely small lore bits. Who knows? Maybe I already got it. It's a city or industrial complex. It may be covered in snow. Let light and definition and could be personally cannon destroyed. The friendly MT squad will take care of this. Access the bulkhead and break into the wall. Yeah. Billy Cade. I, I I just had to map it to WASD, so I don't really have like precision analog control, but that's okay. It still feels cool. Do you read me? This is V4 Rusty. Yeah. Fast. Guess you're sharper than they say. Rusty. I'll have to step up my own game. A numbered Vesper. He's an elite. But remember, even Balaam couldn't crack the wall. Don't count on him too much. We don't know how much of a homie Rusty is yet. be interesting. I'm hoping if I like hover above the tank and shoot down on him that the stun needles will still hit. Because this is a pretty bad build for this boss. But we'll see how it plays out. Six, two, one. I've dispatched a supply yeah. ship. Make sure you resupply. Yeah, Nordic Metal. That that's why I was just talking about how they do such a good job of characterization in this game. Um, usually in Armored Core you get, yeah, like a voice, a name, maybe an emblem or an avatar, but that's kind of it. that it was Rusty that helped you out in this fight. One of the infamous handler Walter's hounds. I can't remember why Walter is infamous. Interesting. You ready to climb the wall? That's the juggernaut. Heavy mobile cannon. I wouldn't recommend taking it head on. It won't be able to keep up with Steel Haze. I'll distract it while you hit its blind spot. Watch out. It's coming. That's the stuff. Walter knows how to pick it. Now it's gonna get tricky. So much for our decoy. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, man. 
couldn't have just not overheated for a little bit. That's fine. Okay, so yeah, that was super easy. Oh, holy shit. 2.0 comes out tomorrow? Mmm. Oh, there's a chance. Never mind. Confirmed. Juggernaut destroyed. Operation Wall Climber is a success. That pilot, Rusty, it seems he knew who you really are. It won't matter. I've taken that contingency into account. You seem to know who you really are. Who am I really? We're war buddies now. I think I should tell you something. Yeah, we are. During Operation Wall Climber, Archibus was planning to sacrifice you. The plan was to use independent mercenaries to clear the way so that the Vespers could step in and take over. But instead, you took the wall. Both the higher-ups and the Rubiconians are going to remember the name Raven now. As will I. Interesting. As will I. I'm gonna get some water. Got a job for you, 621. This request comes from the Rubicon Liberation Front. Raven, there's a mission I'd like you to take on. We have authorized a solo helicopter sortie to rescue a group of imprisoned comrades. There are three to rescue in total, including some particularly significant personnel. Raven, we hope our struggle will inspire you to aid the Liberation Front's cause. Abide with Rubicon. Your money will inspire me. <sighs> I went to an outdoor baby shower this weekend and got eaten alive by bugs. Still have scratchy, itchy bug, bug bites. We have you to thank for this job. <sighs> That's something I used to, uh, used to deal with all the time in Texas. Typically, it's not that big of a thing in L.A. Main system, activating combat mode. Mirror transmission. Escort the Rubicon Liberation Front's transport helicopter. We appreciate this important reason. We have to rescue our captured comrades. Failure is not an option. We're under attack! It's the Liberation Front Chopper! Uh-oh. Escort AC! Uh-oh. They must be here for their friends. Intercept. Okay. I hate bug bites and sunburns. Were long clothes even in warmer weather just to negate them? Yeah. I should have, uh. I wore shorts. You came for me. Sorry to keep you waiting, Sayi. I'm okay. Still alive, at least. A little rest, and I'll pay you. It's my birthright. Heading for the next site, right? California to wear shorts everywhere. I 
hate wearing shorts? <sighs> Why? The less cloth on my body, the better. Landing at site B. Think about Baldur's Gate 3? Oh, it's awesome. He must have refused. I haven't finished it. No. I will, though. I've been, uh... I've been oddly taken by Starfield. Much less of an RPG, but still. It's got its moments. Oh, Thumb! Thumb's here! Yeah, that's a game I want to stream. Baldur's Gate, I mean. Wear jeans in 90 degree weather? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I remember wearing jeans in Texas when it'd be like 105, 90% humidity. And just like all the sweat would just get trapped. Father Domayan has been extracted. Thumb. Mission accomplished. Leaving the combat area. Six two one. New enemy confirmed. That's that's a red guns AC. Escorting a prison break all alone. Is this mission new? You're daring. We'll give you that. I fried bigger fish than you. G two Nile. What are you doing here? Fucked up. No wonder Michigan took a shot at you. Yeah. Oh, please tell me my guns need to cool down. They won't have anything left to throw at us now. Thanks for the support, Raven. Yeah, because I I didn't remember doing an escort quest, but it took me a minute. And like when G2 Nile came out and got wrecked, I was like, wait, this has to be new. Cool. You don't really run into Thumb in your, your first playthrough, right? You kind of don't do a whole lot with the RLF. At least I didn't. I'm, I, maybe there's a mission path you can take. All members of the RLF are named after a One finger. New message. Oh, somebody was mentioning that. An email from Thumb. Let me thank you again, Raven. We couldn't have rescued our comrades without your help. Father Dolmayan is a key figure to the movement. A great coral warrior who witnessed the fires of Ibis and a guide to us all. But now it seems like he's... No, I shouldn't. He carries a heavier burden than any of us. Oh, and uh, a personal note before you go. Thanks for saving Zayi. I owe you one. Neat. Right. Bowels. Give me some of that bowels. Got a job for you, 621. 
Uh, fudder whacking. I wouldn't. I don't know. I wouldn't lean on the point of record too much in regards to uh, Cyberpunk. They also didn't really get that many refunds. Um, I don't know. We believe you are more than a corporate pawn. I'm of the firm opinion that there was a people leaned into a particular narrative about Cyberpunk in terms of its release and stability. Yes. Uh, the performance, like, I can't speak to crashing, the actual, like, amount of crashing, but in terms of performance and bugginess, it was like, I don't know, it was kind of on par with Skyrim when it came out on PS3. People were just okay with it back then. Well, after the Strider, more cautious. I'm not saying that it launched in a great state, but I think that, would appreciate your help. I think that that media had a strong incentive to play it up because it was a it was a free for all, um, and I also like my partner worked for CD Projekt at the time, which both means that I would likely be naturally biased for the game, but also means that I have insight <laughs> uh, into some of that stuff. So you can take that as it will. Take that as you will. Some advice before you go, 621. Luckily, the, like... Expect the unexpected. Debating it is, is kind of pointlessly academic at this point. Because the game sold really well. Uh, and... Can, like... There's no, there's no real, like... Activating combat mode. Commence mission. There's no real point. A lot of a lot of gamers like to think that they rigidly enforce quality standards or certain philosophical standards that should exist in gaming, and it's all it's all just it's all an illusion. So watch out, six two one. It doesn't really uh, affect things one way or the other. Watch its shots and see where they're coming from. Damn, that's awesome. MDD. Encoded comms. Was that mech behind what happened here? Yeah, it's just a little odd to me, the... Continue the investigation. I mean, I guess this is, this is all of human existence. But, ha you know, I was there. I saw it. And, uh... I saw it from a perspective other than like blogs telling me how bad it was, or or YouTube YouTube talking heads talking about how bad it was. And I'm not listen. I I should be honest. Like I don't. I'm not. Uh, let me think how to say this. I'm not accusing anyone that didn't like the game at launch of ha of being brainwashed by fucking influencer media or anything like that. Um, so, apologies if it came out that way. I guess, I guess it just, it worries me when people repeat the same talking points. Especially when, by my perspective at least, those talking points don't necessarily agree with what I perceived. But, again, it's pointless, it's, it's moot. The tragedy in my eyes is when, is when folks enjoy a narrative so much that it prevents them from enjoying something they might actually like, you know? So if, if, if people enjoy the narrative that Cyberpunk was a twisted pile of shit that's an insult to everything gamers hold dear, and they lock onto that instead of giving the game a shot and enjoying it, that's a tragedy. But who cares? Who cares beyond that? Zumbini, yeah. No, they're, they're, they w- It was, it was, it was foretold that that will happen. Yes. There will be a there will be a redemption arc because people want to see a redemption. That that closes out the narrative, and people will find that narrative, and some in some cases even create it, if it's not apparent. If that makes sense. Bloggers, bloggers and media types like myself, honestly, um, benefit from wrapping a, a narrative container around events in real life, editorializing to make things more heartwarming and clickable. I assumed that was going to be, like, there was already uh, a negative narrative getting spun up about Cyberpunk before it launched and was bad, <laughs> you know? 
uh, before it launched in a shitty state because there was too much incentive to have something negative to say about cyberpunk. But like, the market wants a certain kind of sentiment, so then it it becomes the role of content creators to fill that demand, if that makes sense. And nowhere in the process are there any standards about like accuracy uh, or good faith reporting, because it's the audience is the only one that enforces those standards, and they don't care. Get down and take a closer look. So, certain narratives no will start to happen because Water. people want them to. And to some degree, that's always been uh, news reporting. Of Must I feel like it's it's going to be stronger and stronger. House was hiding a well all this time. Oh, dunk, dunk before time. I'm glad to hear that. Talk so much shit on cyberpunk just from stuff I heard about it. Once I played it, I felt so dumb for not picking it up sooner. Having that situation with Gotham Knights right now. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, don't the the least. The most disingenuous thing that happens on the internet now is the, like, the, the free-for-all dunk fest. Basically, like, a bunch of people on Reddit give each other permission to just be utter shitheads about a particular game for a while. Um, and, like, Redfall or whatever, like, people just really love pointing and laughing. They love, like, bullying. It's... I get it. Especially when you convince yourself it's a victimless crime. Which is, like... It requires you vilifying the developers, but then that feels bad, so then people just like, no, the executives. Which is like, you don't know who they are. You don't know why they... Anyway, I'm getting on a rant right now. But these are like, these are trends in online discourse that seem very worrying to me. Only because it creates a bunch of negativity that people who make games have to deal with. And it also can in can occasionally um, make people not play games they might like. Which whatever, there's there's worse tragedies in the world for sure, but that's what I care about. Yeah. Reddit is just negative about games, it's all hate circle jerks, unhappy people. Yeah, that's I mean that's that there are elements of that in every social media because that's just human nature. Negative headlines do way better on YouTube than any other kind. Long time no see, Walter. Looking good for a change. Yeah, I Nordic. Everyone, like, Call or Destiny gets that way. Happens, Call of Duty is, has been there for the years. With, the like, jobs. the, um... They did what it took to get us here. Huh. So how's the newcomer doing? If you're a content Not creator, a and you're, like, but your you niche is a game of service game... Unstable. You're not gonna get you're not gonna get anyone's attention by constantly being like, yeah, this one's pretty good. I found the data are This patch is pretty good. No, this patch ruined the game. Here's why you should be mad. That's gonna get people in the door every time, ten out of ten. The problem is, is I, I also think some content creators they follow the numbers and then their emotions file in behind it. So they find out that like running negative line running what? negative stories yeah. performs better. They enjoy the feeling of making good performing content, so then they just naturally start feeling like that's the truth, even if they don't think it's true. About the coral well that was I also think that some content creators are like held hostage by the game. That they, just a trip that's the thing they're known for, and they hate playing it. They can't get out of it. Last long. It's not the coral we're searching for. One more thing. I've sent you your next job. This one oh yeah, Datto is great. Or the Liberation Front. I've always loved Datto, just like... You'll see when you check the briefing. I always appreciate people who can be in a content space for more than, like, two years, and not... not get consumed by that complex, because I do think that happens to a lot of people. They... they don't maintain a sort of objective disassociation from the thing that they're making content about, which is really hard to do, to be honest. Especially if you love it, that's why you get into it, right? But I feel like that emotional intertwining, especially when you have to merge that with the unavoidable content axiom that negativity performs better. That's the real secret sauce of Inside Games, by the way, is that I know negativity performs better, but I don't report negatively. I'm the daywalker. Oh, 
Konami's cheaping out with the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection's physical Switch version. No actual game on the cartridge. It's a glorified license key. Damn. Concludes chapter. I don't know uh, which ending I'm going for, Damon. I'm hoping that I can just play the game and find a new one. And also, yeah, I, I appreciate a total biscuit as well. I think a lot of people vilify him for not not being socially progressive with his video game opinions. it serves to monitor the dormant veins. I want you to attack it. I've I've heard from people who say that their lives and the lives of their friends have been directly and negatively impacted by Total Biscuit's opinions, which I. It's true. I, I believe could be true. For the corporations to be seen there. But from my perspective, he was always a pretty... We're flying strictly solo on this one. Dedicated to games. And I can appreciate that. Yeah, he would have been so happy with the rise of boomer shooters. And even the just the general refining of PC... Armored Core 6 is on PC, and it's a, it's a pretty good PC port. <sighs> Every time I change FOV in a game, I think about Total Biscuit. Yeah, Angry Joe made a career of being negative about things. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's interesting too because now people, oh, I could be wrong about this, but these are the trends I've noticed. People look, seek him up when there's something to be mad about. So like in the Redfall situation, everybody's like, oh, we got a bad game. We got to look up Crobe Cat. We got to look up, uh, you know, Angry Joe. We got we to gotta look up these grown men just screaming into their mics because you love seeing people make spectacles of themselves. Yeah. All I can think of about that is like, I can't, I can't, you know, the game is the game. I just feel like it's, uh, I feel like that would, that would be a prison for me. It's go time, 16. Feeling like I have to go in on, on like un Don't worry. hard luck cases over and over because that's what people want from me. Independent mercenary. to make fun of things though you know that some bad movies are fun to watch because they are bad and you can make fun of them yeah I guess to me there's a difference between watching like a bad movie with your friends and having a good laugh and like trying to orchestrate large groups of people with manipulated information. That's the thing that gets me. The, the like, massaging of information to lean into narratives to make things more negative so that the audience doesn't feel as, uh... So the audience feels more invited to join in, you know? The freaking the bulleted lists on, on Reddit. It's just like a, it's like a, it's like you're handing out flyers. Inviting more people to join a mob against this thing. Two repair kits remaining. Yeah, it's... 
that's the watch points. The distortion of information. Yeah, it's almost like if you edited a movie to make it worse and then played it in a public square. <laughs> and then also, you had some financial motivation for doing that because that's that's the secret part of the of all of it. Well, you don't on Reddit. People just do it for clout and numbers, which is extra sad. But yeah, if you're a content creator, there's there's a financial incentive there. Attacking a watch point. You're incorrigible, Handler Walter. Yeah, just give me the updates. Then your your payoff is uh, a solidarity. The yeah, idea that people agree with you. you learn. Yes, girl made of cheese. Thank you so much. That's perfect. It's the difference between a Friars Club roast and a hit piece editorial. Yeah, I feel like like having a laugh at a bad film is not it's not cruel. But some of the like video game takedowns are mean. Like they they want. It's like a, a shaming campaign. And again, to me, it's like, it's it's all done under the guise of like enforcing quality standards in games and protecting games from greedy corporations and stuff, which is, ooh. It's, yeah, that's a load of bullshit. <laughs> People are very selective with their targets and very selective with the, uh, the morals they decide to enforce. Hey, what's up, Spiff? No Man's Sky had or still has that whole list of promised features. And after the second major expansion and fix, people would still point to that list and go, Oh, you should put in Moon Buggy yet, fucker. Yeah. Yeah. People who try to continue narratives long past when things had changed. Mm-hmm. Yup. There's that too. People were, people were gearing up to be really weird about that with Starfield. Like, really weird. But luckily, it all kind of fizzled right away. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because people actually played the game and it has that, like, soothing Todd Howard magic. So people didn't get all amped up about it still. But yeah, some of the shit I was seeing people, like, say and the, the, like, information campaigns people were spooling up before Starfield launched were baffling. Like, people were trying to convince folks that it had full features that were already pretty evident it didn't. And I'm like, what are you... Why? Everyone's gonna figure this out in like two days. What's the point in like lying about it now? I don't know. Weird stuff. And I, I know people are still like posting a lot. Still see some like daily posts of people like trying to figure out their emotions on the Starfield and gaming subreddits and stuff. Yeah, Bethesda shills are built different, man. And whatever, good for them. It's just a weird thing to shill for. I guess whatever. Everybody's got their own thing going on. Six two one, get out of there. Yeah, Cyberpunk was a pinata for a good while after launch. That's a good description. Yeah, that is what it is. I a lot of this stuff you just it's just human nature, you know, it's just people in groups. It gets pretty irrational pretty fast. It's just it's just really fascinating to see the trends. And specifically for me to see the the times when the trends don't bend the way they usually do, like with Starfield. Starfield's an exception in so many ways, but it's an exception in a good way, so there's no point to complain about it. You just take the gift and move along. I am heir, a Rubiconian. Please, you must wake up. Before your consciousness. I don't think you get the ranks on these missions when you just the play them in story fire. mode, Tiden. To the planet. Disabling autopilot. Establishing comms link with him. Raven. I've identified an approaching enemy. Oh boy. Hey Corey, thank you very much. I'll synchronize with your brainwaves. And maintain hope so to cool. support you. Main <clears throat> system, reactivating hope. Chance, I've taken your off for now. The waves are intensified. 
Raven, get clear. Fair. What are you doing with your right hand? It's mouse. Not. So I can... I have an analog stick and a mouse. Raven, you need rest. Who was Balteus? Where did they come from? Who are they working for? Oh, they were PCA? Okay. The coral surge you were swept up in? That was just a glimpse. My stupid little head. What are you doing with your feet? They are on a floor cushion. God, that's pretty. A friend of mine sent me this observational data. Look, 621. A localized coral explosion caused by the surge has a certain directionality. It's headed straight for the central ice field across the Aulian Ocean. Like a flock of birds or a school of fish, coral loves company. Which means, somewhere in the ice field, there's a huge mass of coral lying dormant. Was it that explosion that kicked off the like you exponential coral expansion? In your head. That's a common side effect of old gen augmentation. Huh. Could also be from getting caught in that coral surge. Don't let it bother you. Raven. The coral explosion completely vaporized northwestern Malleus's Bay Area. And even yet, compared to the fires of Ibis, that explosion was hardly a spark. Raven, I have a favor to ask. Let me remain in contact with you until we reach the Coral Convergence. I have to see where they're taking us. How this struggle over the Coral ends. I must, as a Rubiconian. I've seen people saying this looks like a PS3 game? Jesus. I remember people saying that about Cyberpunk, and I was like, man, you guys Augmented need to go back and remember what Skyrim looked like on the PS3. Standard mode. Because it wasn't like this. Two new messages. People have some funky memories. Six two one. I've got some business to attend to. I need to hawk some intel to the corpse and secure a backer for our trip to the ice field. I just played PS3 One Armored Core. While I'm out. Blah. Rest up. Blah. And that's an order. Yeah, real rose tinted memories. Give me this Raven. any day of the week over that. I see your handlers away on business for now. About that trip to the ice field. We've received a job from Balaam already. Let's take a look, shall we? Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. You have proven yourself to be truly exceptional, which brings us to a request. The integration program. Hmm. This program concerns Mind Alpha, 
a pilotless AC that we have developed, sampling the various factions' machines to assimilate their technology. This expanded and arena. Philosophies. We would like you to engage it. Yeah, in a combat nice. To evaluate. The yeah, Atomica. I'm. I was looking forward to Sea of Stars. I haven't started it yet. Assist us with the future. But uh, I'm looking forward to playing it. There's been a variety of really good 16-bit era um, JRPGs lately. Alpha 1. All right. Integration program initiating phase 1. Will you play the new Stalker eventually? Yeah. Please begin. We played the others in the series. I played Stalker, the first Stalker 3 billion years ago. I played Clear Sky for like 10 hours and I was like, eh. Um, and that's kind of it. And then I played the Metro series, but that's not really Stalker. So sure, I'll check it out. Okay. No, he was just going to let me hit him. What? I didn't track. That was weird. I guess I'm locked in a direction when I shoot one. Yeah, I I did play original Stalker on the highest difficulty a little bit. Concluding analysis. And it was uh, it was really something. That was really wonderful too cuz in that like 2010s no fun video games on PC era that was kind of like the most hardcore Fallout you could ever ask for. Chips. Give me them chips. The upcoming Stalker game might be the first game I might buy that I have no intention on actually playing. Alpha two. Stalker's like it kind of reminds me of um, damn. The next sample. Escape from Tarkov. This will be but an open world RPG. Alpha. Commencing analysis. Yeah, Futter Whacking, I kind of agree. I like I like games where the difficulty makes the world feel dangerous, and boy, is that the case in Stalker. You gotta, like, prepare a ton. Oftentimes, if you see something you don't understand, you just run away, because that shit will kill you. Well, I would never... <laughs> I wouldn't recommend people play that. On hardest. Concluding analysis. Maybe if people well really, really like that Souls experience. It's souls with guns, kind of. You gotta like slowly walk everywhere. Be really careful with your like ammo and resources. Open world survival horror, basically. Oh, Metro. My bad. I thought you meant uh, stock. Program Phase One Final Analysis. The next sample is the Tester AC. This will be integrated into Mind Alpha. Commencing analysis. Main system activating combat mode. Just that easy. Target destroyed. Yeah, this build is, is the data will sick. be integrated into Mind Alpha. Thank you for your assistance. Just turning the game off. It was supposed to be 
easy. Look at all these chips, man. Incoming cars. Thank you for your continued support. Your testing has identified several key points for improvement to Mind Alpha. The evolution of all mind will not disappoint. That probably won't be an issue. It doesn't sound like something I have to worry about. Ooh. No. Why is air? To confirm the it's kind of weird that air is like taking missions for me. As for how it's also kind of weird that I'm taking missions from air. This air? Is intercontinental air. cargo launcher installed on the upper level of grid 086. You could use it to launch your AC to the ice field. Yeah, Evan Grid Stalker is janky. Is occupied by the dozers, outlaws who treat coral like a drug. It's also the territory of a belligerent group of arms dealers who call themselves RAD. Be prepared for a perilous journey. I'll be here to support you, Raven. She's a coral entity, right? It doesn't necessarily make sense that she already knows how to like read email. Let me handle getting us into the grid. I'm fairly adept at analyzing systems and manipulating them too. How does she know? How does she know how to log in to fucking Handler HQ, pull these missions for me? Who gave her a password? Commencing infiltration to grid 086. Creating backdoor into system. Deactivating all <laughs> ghosts in my coral? Connecting steam cylinders. Launching. Hey, that's kind of cyberpunk, I guess. Cyber ghosts. Getting people work. God, that's so cool. Alright, Raven. Let's get to work, shall we? System activating combat mode. I play the Shadowrun games. Uh, a few of them. I played the one on Super Nintendo. The one on uh, Games for Windows Live. I played Shadowrun Returns. And I started a uh, Dragon Spirit or whatever. Oh, it's got the word dragon in it. The second one. Yeah, those are cool. Very, uh, very needed breath of, of CRPG. No one was making those. Dragon fall, that's... I always forget. I always forget the state of the dragon. Don't bother me while I'm doing my coral! <laughs> Bye, Rummy. Did zero damage. Taurus. You know, RAD loves a good welcome party. Come on in and let's get acquainted. Yeah, Returns was okay. Returns hit like all of the cyberpunk tropes, really. Your friend sent you a message. He's dead. You kind of have to solve the, the murder mystery. It's it's like a West Coast noir uh, murder murder tale. You go to a seedy nightclub. You know, it's got all the. It's got all the like comfy cyberpunk story tropes in it. Because yeah, I think they they wanted to set a baseline and hit all the like fan favorites. Waiting, Taurus. Come on in. Let's get to 
Oh yeah, these guys. You ready, guys? no jack points in shadow and return so it's annoying playing as a decker in that one i'm pretty sure that's what i did and yeah it was kind of a rough playthrough i played on hard too i remember there being a couple of uh there were a couple of encounters i had to save scum a couple of turns like had to get the exact right moves in turns one two and three to even stay alive that was fun though it's kind of the experience i was hoping for That was long. That was like 2014, I think. That was a while ago. I remember playing through that game on a Microsoft Surface. I was on a plane playing Shadowrun Returns and thought I was living in the future. But it was kind of awkward because it was like a mouse. It's like largely a mouse-based game, so it could it could more or less work on a touchscreen. There were some things that were really awkward to do. so many secrets and optional encounters yeah i imagine most of the the ones that are like nice and huge and open John, you reminded me. I need to, I need to send a little Roomba around. So I've been doing some sewing projects. So there's been like loose thread and 
bits of fabric all over the floor. Which makes me scared to send around a Roomba because I'm afraid it'll eat something that it's not supposed to. Hey, tourist. It's me, Garla. I had to work some of my magic to track you down. Nuyen, hello. I've got a little job for you. When? I think I'm Take saying that wrong. But hello! Raven, it's highly unusual to receive messages from hostile sources. Hostile no longer. The online's mercenary database? I mean, you did it, I guess. That is kind of interesting, though. Hardware. Almost right? Damn. So close. And now I've got rival dozers muscling in. It's the Junker Coyotes. We never did get on. Always sniffing around, just waiting for a chance to bite. Making a mess is one thing, but they're going after our development data, too. We need to swat the hacking drones they sent before they make off with all my secrets. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty low of them, but at least give them credit for knowing where the value is. Anyway, did I mention that this is all your fault? You can make up for it by keeping my secrets safe. God, I love that hang-up tone. It's so good. Handler didn't authorize this sortie either. But we shouldn't miss this chance. I'll support you. Main system, activating combat mode. Let's get rolling, Taurus. Destroy all the hacking drones those degenerate coyotes left here. Let's be quick about this one. Hack drones? Security oh, breaches reached 10%. Firewall's going down fast. Must be about five drones to pull that off. That's class. Have a little panache. What the hell? This music's kind of interesting. I don't remember hearing much piano. I got a maze level, huh? With a time limit. Door doesn't open. That one does. Is the game worth getting? I'm currently debating buying it. Yeah, I would say so, Markville. I think it, it really depends on ugh, fuck, what kind of games you like, what your tolerance for uh, difficulty is. Security breach has reached 50%. We can still make it, Raven. I guess. This area makes no sense. Mmm, that doesn't help, though. Hey, Joe Malik. What the fuck? 
break? No. Like giant robots, but it's got some souls like elements? Not really. M maybe like demon souls. But not, no, not really like souls. It's made by the same company, but it's really not that similar. Where the f. Ugh. We've got our crypto keys. You can fly. That's, uh... Okay, there was another random door. that shit now. Who cares? You... No, I'm back in here? Uh, that sucks. What about this one? Won't hold much longer. What? God damn it. Fucking maze ass shit. That's fun. At least it's not tons of identical looking vertical columns with random connecting hallways between them. Let's get rolling, Ghost Comet, thanks for the sub. Destroy all the hacking drones those degenerate coyotes left here. Let's be quick about this room. We're ruined. My browser history exposed. Firewall's going down fast. There's to be about five drones to pull that off. Straight out of the gates. Keep it up, tourist. Second target destroyed. I get why they want our tech. I just wish they had a little more flair. If it were me, I'd raid us from orbit and just Wait, keep their dead off the ground. Is it? I think it is. Oh, yeah, if you're a Gundam fan, this game is for you. Guess I better get to work on the measures. Coyotes are using RAD and teams. They're out of stuff on the black market. Still, I'm not sure I like seeing my own. Professor Nagai, the Rubicon Research Institute's director. I have decided that assistant number one's son is to remain at the lab. He's a reticent one, tough, too, beyond his years. And now our research has robbed him of his mother and driven his father mad. He has every right to hate me. Perhaps assistant number two will be able to help. She does seem to have a knack for assembling toys. I hope that at least she can give me something to smile about. Baby, I'm gonna guess assistant number one is Walter? Or was Walter? That's okay, dude. Find it in my own time, hopefully. There you are. Remember 
where the other ship was. I don't think it was through here. Yeah, this is just this other part. This door doesn't open. So it's from the other side. Isn't there another? I thought there was another door down here. No? Security breach has reached 50%. Uh-huh. Was there something over here? I don't think there was. Again, worthless. Oh, here we go. That's right. been choreographized. Thank you. I, thank you. You have to try to mess it up now. I will be able to do that. We've got our crypto keys. That's uh not great. Got the crypto. Good job, tourist. We sent the coyotes and their pals a little counter virus. Oh. The servers are officially fried. You dancing in that John Maybe Smith K-pop video? Behave. I Wait, thought he cut all the dancing the out. Door. Are there more of them? They're outside. Let's move to intersections. Oh, That was a long time ago. Ah! Oh, jeez. God, that was a what like? That had to be early 2020? Yeah, you can, you can link it, Joe. It's fine. I think that was when John was going to try to be like a video essayist. I think he might have realized that they take a shitload of time and effort to make. And only the people who have been making them for like six years get get easy views off of putting them on YouTube. Ah, this door opens now. Okay. Wow, doing death standing analysis videos. Nice. You're the freelancer from the dam right. Death stranding's awesome. A lot of fertile ground to uh, to think about. A lot of a lot of good theory crafting to do. And here I thought I'd just make some extra scratch. Guess I can settle the score at the same time. I see the coyotes got some help too. Ooh. Don't forget to smile, tourist. You know I really owe you one. Uh oh. He's got a friend. They're all over us. Help me out or we're both dead. You repair kit remaining. What the fuck? Oh, okay. That ringing in my ears again. It'll be peace and quiet when you're gone. Ringing in his ears. I wonder if that's, re is that referring to like the tone that you hear at the end of a phone call when no one's talking to you? You're not connected to anybody? We all have armored core tinnitus. Psycho or something? We're both in trouble here. Left hand ammunition attack, 30%. Am I supposed to shoot it in once the reinforcements show up? Destroyed. Still after me though. Now we can finally be alone. Okay. Your next so freelancer. You. Damn it! I would have had you. You never had don't your mech. Think you've won. Is he not dying again? I don't think so. Looks like it's 
over. I'll have the crew check out those mechs. Raven, this unidentified machine for using encrypted communications. Crypto communications. I'll do what I can to decrypt them. This is kind of interesting. I feel like there maybe were some missions that were just too ridiculous. Why did I have a 100k penalty? Ooh, mind beta. I wonder if I can wear those. Those look slick. One new message. But yeah, it seems like some missions, they were like, this one's a little too raw. Like the maze plus an AC fight at the end plus. Uh, but some of the, some of the missions in the first Next run are like that. Look before you leap. I don't know. You can't trust anyone on Rubicon. <sighs> Keep heading for the ice field. I'll take care of some loose ends in the meantime. Mm. I always thought it was weird that right off the bat, Walter doesn't really mind you going off and doing your own thing either. He seems to definitely want you under his thumb, but he's also kind of cool with you doing sorties for, uh, air? Ah. Overburdened. Yeah, boy, those suck all the way around. <laughs> they got a little more defense, but they're heavier, they're shittier. Never mind. Walter doesn't know about air or the choral voices. But yeah, I mean, surely he knows... I guess he doesn't know that you're off doing missions for some ghost in your head. Walter isn't augmented, so we can't hear the voices. Yeah, but he... Never mind. <laughs> We're continuing through grid 086 toward the intercontinental cargo launcher. As promised, Carla has agreed to serve as our guide. I'm not sure how safe it is to trust a dozer. But if we turn her down, we turn her knowledge down as well. One more thing, Raven. Cinder. Carla's nickname. That's what the Rubicon <laughs> Highlighted. is called survivors of the fires of Ibis. But if the fires happened half a century ago... Well... It could just be some dozer inside joke. Yeah. No, Walter knows about the missions. He knows you go on missions. It's just weird that he's cool with it. This will be our third sortie together, Raven. I mean, I think his his motivations... I'm quite enjoying the routine. Well, I'm not 100% locked into what his motivations and, and backstory are, even though I think they kind of tell you at the end of the first story playthrough. But, yeah. Main system. Activating combat mode. Here we go, tourist. I'll lead the way, just as promised. But after this, you owe me one. You sure about that? This elevator goes straight to the top of the grid, the outer shell. Sadly, that's beyond my territory. I mean, once you're out there, the PCA satellites see everything. A few of the stupider dozers took it as a challenge, went out to prove themselves. What's the ending you got in your last playthrough? I set fire to the coral. I saw the fires of Rubicon. And incidentally, did some light genocide along the way. At this altitude, we're within firing range of the PCA satellites. Oh, right. Intruder detected in forbidden sector. Terminating target. Terminating. At 30%. God damn it. I never ever get this timing. Powerful laser. Be careful. Nice ghost. 
Oh wow, it, you lose you lose health. One repair kit remaining. Fill my apple slices. Now, if you could just step inside. Get my peanut butter crackers. Wait. Enemy detected. That machine. Those moves. Great. Found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics of the heart of God. Now, what's it doing? Yeah, I need to brought you this thing, man. How about we get back on track? The thing is, if you if you spell it correctly, it's but brought you this thing, which is the perfect acronym, really. But yeah, you could use a butt command. the Bruce wanted to start or I'd suggested we upload those to inside games um, because we've done edited gameplay there as well and um, Bruce just wanted to upload the ones that just have that have like both of us in it to make it I guess more of a Bruce and I channel thing so those videos are gonna get spread around I should put those on my own YouTube as well they're not gonna get a ton of views but whatever Coral. 
currents coursing across Rubicon. Walter was correct in his judgment. Yeah, I think Kasim was a... He was in New G4. The coral. It's here, in this desolate place. <laughs> yeah, Zumbini. I gotta admit, I, as somebody who never really followed YouTube media, wasn't super familiar with Kasim's legacy. But he jokes about it a lot <laughs> in Brought You This Thing videos. We've hit the point where, like, early YouTube is old enough to be nostalgic. Augmented human, C4, six, two, no, OJ, dude. New G G4 already shut mode. down. It only lasted for, like, a year. Looks like you've made it to the central ice field, 621. Good. I'm done tying up loose It's hands. amusing that, like, Archibus found their own only brands that are created and run by squads. individuals have any kind of staying power. It looks like I guess it's because they just can't scale. The place too. There's too much competition in new media. You know what's really difficult to scale Business anything up past. Usual. But like, maybe, make it work maybe a us. company of 10 employees? Smosh still lives. Well, it's been yeah, it's 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 been around the block a couple times, right? Multiple owners. Didn't the original owners buy it back? Ooh, whoa! Siege missile launcher. Huh, that's pretty cool. Thirteen missiles. Oh yeah, these guys. Scatter missile developed by RID. Ten missiles each. It's so it's simply so many missiles. Ooh. The delivery boy. I'll play the video. Good idea. I love missiles that shoot like that. Kind of scatter all around and then fire off. In case I ever decide to go missiles again. Yeah, I love those boat legs. Looks like you're just sitting in a hot tub. Oh, he did some really spicy interviews with porn stars. Probably wouldn't hold up today, but as a young teen, they were hilarious to me. One of the companies. That was the magic window of YouTube media, where it's like it was mostly tweens and teens watching YouTube stuff, so talking about sex was like catnip. The operation will take place in the central ice Kissing field, pranks. Omar Mine. We want you to stage an attack on the Archibus survey camp located there. After digging into the ice field, Archibus launched survey drones to gather data. Whatever they found is sure to contain clues as to the whereabouts of the Coral Convergence. Put simply, your job is to seize the data. We're counting on you, Gun 13. I mean, I hope I hope the way that I said that doesn't sound like judgment, because I know full well I was part of a spicy teen slash college kid comedy collection. Still hearing things. Hey, what's up, Clownzo? Tell me if it happens on the job. I'll make adjustments. Adjustments. <laughs> Joe. That that video where Lisa and I interview Reggie is one of my favorites. It was it was one of the cleanest where like the concept actually paid off instead of pissing everyone off. Extract the data from the birth survey drones and get out. This mission. Oh yeah, this is the one with the freaking carrier. This was like the first wall that I hit. Oh, 
intruder! Solo AC. Must be an independent merc. Taking Bayless money, no doubt. Intercept! I was kind of hoping between that and there was like a an Xbox preview event that I went to and kind of shot a goofy little package for that. I I had hoped that we could merge games editorial with comedy gameplay. Remnants of the fire still drifting. Those were some attempts to do so. Trails of residual coral. Luckily, I can start getting back into it. It's great. Inside games is more, it's almost scaling back up to the point where we can start like putting concept and budget behind videos. tricks? I don't know about that. Not all the way back. The the thing that's different now is that weirdly I feel a lot less I feel a lot less um Very interesting. I feel a lot less pressure to try to make things be the like best performing they possibly can since it's only for me and not a team. When I worked on a team I was like everything has to do as good as it like it has to appeal to as wide an audience as possible. And that's kind of how I approach stuff. Now I'm much more comfortable just kind of making things at my pace with whatever whatever tone I feel like they should have. Even the Rubicon, more creative control, I suppose. Um, it's Creative control is a, it's different. Like, I'm, I have creative control because I have freedom of logistics. Whereas before, I had to you know, deal with a whole bunch of factors <laughs> that that pinned in what I could do and, and how. There was never like a boss saying you can't do that. Nobody cared that much. <laughs> the freedom to make stuff how and at what pace I want, but with whom I want. So that's really nice. That's kind of, that's more of the creative control aspect that's nice. Is that I get to choose who I work with. Ooh, XOR has subscribed and simply says, Gaming. And we all applaud that. Who knows what's out there on this vast sheet of ice. Ooh. Watching you on Inside Games on what and on Twitch has become here? one of my favorite viewing experiences. Like of the tone and insight you give around everything you do. Coffee-fueled spark. A very kind message. Thank you. Very flattering. What? Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to kill? Oh. I should have been paying more attention. I was busy getting flattered. At 50%. And you're wasting away again on Margaritaville arc. I really am, yeah. It feels good. But yeah, it does kind of feel like retirement a little bit. Attention, Gun 13 Raven! Looks like you ruffled some feathers. They're taking their drones back to HQ. I want you to fight them and stop them. Don't worry. With, uh, like, Bruce has got a gameplay thing picking up. And honestly, with, like, we've, we've had more and more sponsors show interest in Inside Games, and that's important. Because, um, if it, if it ends up being worth more money to spend time on that, then I can justify it. There's actually a, we have a project coming up, I think this week, that I'm going to have to cut a, set aside some time for. Right hand, empty, left hand, ammunition at 30%. 
set. <laughs> Movie night with Bruce is legendary. I'm glad, I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. I had such a good time. Drink way, way more than I meant to. That's just what happens when Batman's around. Na -na -na. Wish I could have stayed for Batman and Robin. Uh, yeah, I guess. We were mostly talking over it the whole time. Or at least I was. <laughs> Pretty loopy by that point. That's fine though. There's less to say about Batman and Robin. It's just it's just all right there. There's not a whole lot of mystery about that film. Unlike Batman Forever, a movie with untold secrets. Like, okay, so here's the thing. Every time I watch Batman Forever, I learn something new. And this time, I learned that when Robin's doing his laundry, he actually like stretches the fabric across the line with his toes. It's a weird shot because it's kind of out of frame. But I never noticed that before. I still don't know what what gay code Robin sends off though. Apart from just generally being like ottery. Still pissed off about George Clooney's hair. What how tragic is that? Man? Oh see you, Dejon. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying New Game Plus so far. Wrecked! Damn! He's well-groomed. That's all I can figure. Coding was stronger in the comics. Okay. George Clooney's Batman was gay-coded? <laughs> Damn it! How did I miss all these gay codes? Did forever have bat nipples? I think so. I think the second suit did? I think there's a shot when Dr. Chase Meridian, like, starts groping Batman that you can, you can see his chromed out nipples. Uh-oh. Oh dear. It's boiling acid! That dude rules. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, uh, Batman Forever rules. Oh, for real? Huh. It's going to blow. Get clear, 621. Oh. Yeah, Tio this. This thing is this thing is silly, isn't it? Remaining. George Clooney made a comment about playing Batman gay in an interview. What? Is that the code? I mean, he was he was like trying to flirt with chicks in Batman and Robin, but there was only like one scene. Was it the turtleneck? Jurisdiction. Why send an enforcement squad in a warship? Special mission, maybe. Or was it? Wait. Over there. <laughs> gay coding. <clears throat> I'm gay. <laughs> Ooh, what a mystery. What could he mean? Now, I could see Kilmer's Batman being way more gay. Because he's like, he's awkward as fuck around Dr. Chase Meridian. And there's almost like zero sexual tension. I do like his Batman smile. got a little too eager, 621. Us and the corporations both. I was in a rubber suit and I had rubber nipples. I could have played Batman Street, but it made him gay. Wait, who's who was that George Clooney or Val Kilmer? Hold on a minute. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> uh, that's good cinema, is what that is. Ah, oh, his eyes are so kind. It's like Forspoken Kid. Hey, Raven. It's me, Rusty. Your old buddy from the Vespers. Haven't talked since we climbed the wall. Hey, Rusty. I'd love to catch up, but I'll cut to the chase. The PCA has deployed its suppression fleet. And now it's laying down the law all over Rubicon. Hello, Yellow Sprite. We've already lost several survey bases, and Balaam's in a sorry state, too. For their part, the Rubicon Liberation Front sees this as an opportunity. Now, if you ask me, they're counting their eggs before they're hatched. Hello, Queefer. The corpse, the Rubiconists, and the independent mercs will go down together. I'm sending you a request from the Archibald's group. We could use the wall climber's help. Well, you're gonna get it, I guess. One new message. Oh yeah. Somebody mentioned the ears folding down. Like a dog going I to sleep. Got a call from V4. I've been contacted as well by the Balaam group. Seems both sides have been forced to halt the coral survey. Check the briefing, 621. Raven, I've also picked up a job for you. It's not just the corporations who have their eye on you. The Rubiconians do too. Ooh. Following the PCA's attack, the Rubicon Liberation Front has established a division in the Central Ice Field. This job comes from their commander. Is this the first? Oh, it is. Okay. So let's see your tunnel sabotage, prevent corporate salvage. Oh. Eh? Oh yeah, it's the new game plus version of it. Okay. Okay, I did tunnel sabotage before. That makes sense. I remember just kind of picking top to bottom. Came to us from the de facto leader of the Rubicon Liberation Front. Let's see what it says, Raven. Oh, Cyber Junk Knight? This is Middle Flatwell. A Liberation lot of good. Well, Front, there's, there's like a solid command. handful there. Hardware, the belly of Johnny Mnemonic. Are ramping up against the tank girl count? On two fronts. Virtuosity. At present, our primary concern is the seizure of PCA hardware by the corporations. There's that one... Oh yeah, fifth element. And the um, resources to reverse engineer Don the Dragon PCA Wilson technology. is the lead in a few. Yeah, Lawnmower too. Man. Sorry. Hungry enough Lawnmower Man's kind of boring. <laughs> this Maybe Lawnmower request. Man 2, the ultimate cut. The PCA uh, no, LCS. Steph didn't paint that. It actually came in that model, color. The HC. At the like vibrant blue. I want you to obliterate them in order to mitigate the potential for corporate gains. She does a fair amount of uh, of painting stuff, though. Raven, I await your favorable response. Hold on. Speaking of, uh, I mean, I Batman Forever counts as cyberpunk. I don't care what anyone says, and that's mostly based on the exteriors of the city, and the fact that it stars Don the Dragon Wilson. Yeah, I was going to put that the dragon in there. <laughs> Actor, Batman Forever. Is that still really his top build? It is. Aw, oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine, Don the Dragon Wilson. Uh, I'm glad he got in there. I'm glad he got in there. So let's see here. 
Night Hunter. Is that the one? I think that's the Cyber Tracker. That's what I'm thinking of. Night Hunter looks cool. <laughs> Look at him hunting the night. But yeah, Cyber Tracker 2. This is the real shit right here. This is this is the real cybernetic future shit. <laughs> The next generation of terror. There's six pictures and none of them are from the film. I, there must be a Cyber Tracker one, right? Cyber Tracker. Also starring Don Wilson. Yes, that's two. That's two right off the top. Sans pitié, sans émotion, sans pardon. This is the future. Look at this font, by the way. You need that tall, skinny font for it to be 90s cyberpunk. The, judi just do. the judiciary system has been replaced by a computer. Facts filed in the computer determine the verdict. Punishment is exacted by core trackers. Cyborg executioners used for search and destroy missions. When Secret Service Agent Phillips is framed by his own people, he becomes a relentless core tracker's target. Phillips joins forces with a female newscaster and a young rebel avenging the death of his brother. Also on their trail is Phillips' personal nemesis, fellow security agent Ross. Phillips is hurled through a jet stream of motorcycle chases, shootouts, and some of the most exciting hand-to-hand -hand combat ever filmed in a final showdown with an indestructible mechanical monster. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's like cut off. <laughs> uh. Anyway, that's just the plot of, uh, this is the plot of Minority Report. I can't believe Minority Report copied this. I can't believe it. Future Kick? Wait, I've seen Virtual Combat too. That's pretty good. Is that, uh, is that our guy? Oh, that's Don Wilson. <laughs> I thought that was Dean Kane. Dude, future kick! Look at, that's the future kick right there. Boosh. Got him. Holy shit. How did I not know about future kick? Holy shit. Well, I gotta find this now. 91? Prime. Prime shit. All right, good stuff. <laughs> Watch on Shout Factory. Beautiful. Beautiful. Damien Klaus. Oh, this actually has production stills. Yeah, it's 4x3. Good stuff. Star of the popular Blood Fist films. Well, star, popular, film. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's exceptionally rare to get a direct request from. I don't think I've seen Blood Fist. Perhaps the situation has changed their attitudes too. I watched uh, Kickboxer Retaliation, which it turns out was actually a sequel to another Kickboxer film that came out in like 2015, starring that huge dude who was the lead in Jiu Jitsu with, uh, uh, with Nick Cage. Destroy the Planetary Closure Administration, LCs, and the I'm grateful for your assistance, Raven. The targets are still. It's pretty, it's pretty good. There was there were like cool ideas in it, better kind of better than the execution, but honestly, I'll take like cool ideas with with middling execution over decent execution of like the exact same stunt sequences I've seen before. There was a pretty cool part. Again, didn't quite sell super well, but it was still in a cool idea where uh, Johnny Kickboxer, whatever is, I don't remember his name, but anyway, he gets attacked by all these hot broads. Um, and it's like, it's like a black light fight sequence and they all have like glowing makeup on. So I think they wanted it to look like, kind of like a Nagel painting or something with, uh, like these broads with like glowing eyes and lips beating the shit out of a guy. And it almost works. And I'm like, okay, all right. I also have, it's been a while since I've seen an action film that's like, couldn't give two fucks about continuity. They just do not care. The scenes just kind of go, <laughs> and then the movie's over. But it's got a fun, it's got a fun spirit. Oh, you think Tencent is going to pick up Gearbox? I mean, maybe, I guess. They're looking to get their money into, into gaming as much as possible. Yeah, Embracer really turned out to be just a whole plague on the industry, didn't it? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's weird that people have all these opinions about, like, Microsoft buying Activision when Embracer's out here, like, actively uh, fire sailing at every decent developer. Now that's investment money gone bonkers. Oh, 
as far as far as who, I mean, I don't know. There's probably a few different, probably a few different uh, clients. Bracer expanded too much and can't pay the bills anymore. Pretty much, yeah. They used they used like a bunch of investment money to, to snap up tons and tons and tons of uh, studios, and then there was a round of funding that just didn't come through. I guess there was the thing that I've I've seen people repeat, and I haven't done a whole lot of reading about myself, um, is that they were they had some Saudi Arabian investment money lined up, and it fell through. So now they like can't make payroll for all the companies that they bought. So they closed Volition after 30 years, motherfuckers. And uh, I guess Gearbox is on the sales block. If they closed Volition, I'm going to guess that means that nobody wanted to buy Volition. Which is weird. I would think somebody would, would want to acquire Volition. The others are so used to fighting and shouting slogans that they've given up thinking. But Flatwell, he's exploring a potential for something new. Who's Flatwell? Could have used another free space game. I agree. Hey, buddy. This job comes from Schneider of the Archibus Group. Oh, Here's Flatwell's the RLF briefing guy. Okay. They want you to attack the Jorgen refueling base, a PCA foothold on Rubicon. The target is the energy refinery plant deep inside. Take that out and, well, it ought to slow down their suppression fleet at least. You think we'll get a Volition Nordic type situation like THQ? Until recently, Jorgen was one of Balaam's coral survey bases. Well, m maybe. That was a weird... It only took a day for that was PCA weird. Suppression fleet to come that was a company base. acquiring a brand and then take like using the name because it had a little more recognition. Tanks that I've marked as pay um, targets. So in that circumstance, it would be somebody buying Volition and then using the Volition brand? I don't know that Volition as a, as a developer brand is that valuable. What I'm hoping is that, uh, is that the studio leads at Volition can go to market, get investment money, and then just open a new studio, independently owned. Like, just roll the clock back, but keep the staff, keep the teams. The problem is it's 2023 and investment money isn't flowing nearly as as freely as it was in 2020 when there was an explosion in game spending. If only Embracer had the had the good foresight to shutter Volition two years ago. I still think Embracer will handle IDOS's IPs better than Square Enix. If they launch a game, sure. I'm not sure they will. <laughs> so far, they haven't. <laughs> So far, all they've done is close studios, which is not how you handle IP better. I'm not saying that Square Enix did a good job, but they did at least ship games every now and then. It doesn't even seem like Embracer is going to be able to do that. And if they're strapped for cash, they're going to need every single launch to bring in tons and tons of money, which is mean, which means they're going to like chase market trends for, for profitability, not just make a bunch of cool games, which was what the original intent was. So it's like. I mean, everybody liked to make fun of Square saying that 4 million, and 4 million sales wasn't enough. You better buckle up, because <laughs> 4 million is not going to be enough for Embracer. Especially if they need game sales to bail them out of buying half the world's game studios. So I don't think things are looking up. They were for a minute, but things always look up when money is free. We'll see. I don't think the environment, uh, I don't think the business environment is, is teeing up for Embracer to be a, a solid deliverer of fun game titles at this point. Must be after the plan. Contain the situation. Terminate it. I'd like to be wrong. Leave the analogy to the system. Intercept. Hey. Collect any corporate data you can find. The system. Wait. Code 1-5. Got AC terminated. They did release a game, Gollum. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. See, that's the thing. Like, Datalik is the exact wrong developer to be acquired by Embracer, but they didn't really... I don't think they had a choice. The studio that owned them sold them, and that's just how it goes. So, like, yeah. Embracer needs games to make money. I'm wondering if maybe that was that was a factor. They needed launches right away. So Datalik had to push out Gollum before it was ready. I don't know. Datalik's previous game before Gollum was actually really good. A cyberpunk game called State of Mind. Huh. Yeah, I played Datalik titles before. And they always had, like, Soul. They were doing point-and-click adventure games when that was just, like, the least popular thing ever. They were, like, the only ones keeping that genre alive for a while. I have a lot of fondness for developers like that that make games against market trends. I mean, FromSoft is definitely one of those kind of devs. Randy will try to rebuy Gearbox? No. Randy seems to enjoy hanging out with celebrities. Go to three, attending scene. Watch point report checks out. I get Bernie Burns energy off of Randy. All signs Raven. Just like has has perpetually been a small fish in a big pond, and now is wanders into a big pond and is kind of like, oh, what do I do? I don't know. That I'm assuming a lot there. Your downfall reminds me of Grin. Oh man, I haven't thought about Grin in, a, in forever. Didn't they make the Wanted game? Both PCA SP craft destroyed. Hmm. I'm sure our paymasters planned for that too. Or gathering of developers. I walking advertisement, all right. I don't have high hopes for extra pay. I think we've done enough to inspire other mercenaries to work for Archibus. Doing an FMV Spooktober this year. I'm definitely gonna play spooky games through October. There's there's a few FMV ones I want to toss in there. I got to play through Phantasmagoria 2 finally. Um, and I want to do Hell, a cyberpunk adventure. Maybe I can do uh, finally do Harvester this year. There's too many games. Even just playing the new ones. There's just like a stack of spooky games a mile, wall, mile long I want to play. Oh yeah, Pop-Tart had recommended a really good indie pack of... I played through one of them, Bloodwash, last year. I'd like to play through more of those too. Yeah, I never finished Dead Space Remake. Four Alien Isolation is really good. Never finished you, Alien Isolation. If I may. <clears throat> I knew you could do it, buddy. No. I've got my eye on you. No. Uh, that is all. We at the Archivist Group expect much from you. Yeah, I played World of Horror. I played it when it hit early access. I don't think I've played it since it hit 1.0. Buddy. Good job from the Rubicon Liberation Front. Let's take a look at the request. Raven, we have a mission we'd like to offer you. I'm kind of surprised my camera hasn't Rubicon overheated yet. Rubicon Front is planning to retake the wall from Archivus. And would like you to lay the groundwork for us. Your objective is to assassinate V-7 Swinburne, the commander of the occupying force. Swinburne has dispatched surveillance squads to monitor for intruders and hired operatives. If our plan to retake the wall is to succeed, 
Yeah. Must not be spotted. Coral power has infiltrated my camera. We're counting on you to handle this discreetly. Who's excited for Expendables 4? Huh? I watched Expendables 3 again last night. After t I'm I'm glad that they did a bit of a tonal course correct after 2 cuz 2 was kind of a bummer. Way too much of a downer. Expendables is the best when it's like the f the flimsiest excuse for a bunch of like old action leads to get together and blow stuff up and high five and make dumb jokes. I'm hoping 4 is more in that vein. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. I've estimated the target's position based on the dangerous. Sure. We've got to capture the intruding AC. Well done. I'll handle it from here. Huh? Oh, that's right, you're not supposed to be seen. <laughs> Who cares? I've estimated the target's position based on the data we received. Sending results now. Watch out for the surveillance MTs. If they get a read on you, this operation is over. If you pick up a capture camera... Sure. Main system. Activating combat mode. You can blow up the cameras before they alert, right? Based on the data we received. Sending results now. Watch out for the surveillance MTs. If they get a read on you, this operation is over. If you pick up the capture from the tracking, take cover or quickly destroy it. There's a lot of surveillance MTs. Ray them. Check to see where they're deployed. Huh? What? Raven, surveillance MT. We're fine. No sign of the target, it seems. Perhaps he's out on night watch. Front builds their ACs. Target confirmed. It's Swinburne, the Vesper's number seven. This is our opportunity for an ambush. Let's go. I see. Go. No, what the? Stop that! Dare you attack me with my back turn? What? Let's not do anything hasty. I lead the Vesper 7 squad. Which means I hold the purse strings. Oh, he's gonna, Every single gonna bribe me? Goes through me? Hold on, I wanna hear this. Let me go, and you'll still come out on top. Oh. Understand? Huh. I don't remember getting this option before. You're quick on the uptake, aren't you? Splendid. I'm sure Snail will and see killed him too fast last time. <laughs> We're not like those savages. Keep up the good work. That's fun. Is Air gonna have something to say about that? Death and dishonor. Oh, the Oathbreaker's due. Someone else pops out to to mess you up. Pay the sons you toll. Who? What? Who? What? Who are you, dude? All right. Ow. Ow. Coins slipping through cold fingers. Feed Rubicon's soil. Shit. Treachery benefits 
Doctor. Day another dollar. mission has a third ending. Damn. How's it going, Walter? Hard to say. 621's still performing well, but I doubt the voices have gone away. At any rate, whatever the voices are doesn't seem to be doing any harm. For now. I was asking about you, Walter. But whatever. Bigger things. The coral. You'd better find it. Turns out, our friend's fears were warranted. Don't spend too long dealing with the PCA, Walter. Clock's ticking. Okay. Two new messages. Archivist Group Mercenary Liaison. V I'm gonna go here. grab a delivery off the... I understand you spared V7 and oh, destroyed a liberation on. front AC. Hold on a minute. The company has allocated you an appropriate reward, as I'm sure you've noticed. I hasten to add that Swinburne's shameful conduct has dishonored the Vespers. Has he lost or bribed? He's now been sent for re-education under the orders of V2 Snail. Oh, man. That is all. The Archivist Group expects much from you. I don't know that it did him a favor. Yeah, re-education. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. We have added new samples to the integration program. Ah. You may now test updates to Mind Alpha and analyze corporate AC technology. We look forward to your continued assistance in all minds drive toward perfection. Neat, neat, neat. All right, I gotta go grab something off the front porch. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Never fear. You feared a little bit, didn't you? It's okay. Don't worry. Integration yeah, Zoom beating. Fat Geralt was the best. Two. Ah, yeah, Borg Ninja was kind of waiting on it. You can't cut off 1992. Please begin by engaging the revised model, Mind Beta, in virtual combat. Mind Beta. <clears throat> Commencing analysis. Main system, activating combat mode. Oh yeah, Nordic, you talking about uh, DJ Crazy Times? Yeah, I know I'm pretty infatuated with DJ Crazy Times. Playing it to the base. When uh, the day that they released the full the full single for Planet of the Base, I played a shitload of Y2K music games like uh, Parappa, Guitar Man. It's good stuff. I didn't play Space Channel 5, and it's I've been thinking about it. Target destroyed. Yeah, the music video has the day sex reference, him looking up with the glasses. Like, mm, yeah, it's pretty perfect. I have to admit, too, um, that's like the best example of something being a, a low-lift, small, digestible bit and then building up into something with more substance. A really good example of, like, TikTok bit to, like, full thing that's actually cool. My, my worry was that it would only go that... It would only go down, right? Things would only get shorter and less complicated and stupider. But that actually like has grown, so that's cool. The girl in that video understood the assignment. Yeah, all the all the DJ Crazy Times dancers get it. Uh, there's a couple more TikToks. I think Planet of the Base is the only full track, right? Keep going. 
get those get those OS points. But yeah, fashion was on point. It's interesting to see uh, that like cyber Y2K aesthetic get a little pop off in terms of nostalgia. I was kind of into it. It's dorky, right? And I think now that time has moved on, you can enjoy it for its dorkiness with hopefully nobody thinking that it's actually sincere. It doesn't have to be. It didn't have to be back then. Commencing analysis. We have to see it on media tech? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I tr my, my litmus for adding things to media tech is, is it like, is it a modern thing that the creator would still get, would still get uh, compensation for if it were not being played on my Twitch channel? Uh, so now I make an exception for marketing materials. If it's a if it's a trailer, then who cares? But yeah, just adding like whole whole ass new songs. I could, but that that, that feels like it crosses a bit of a a bit of a line, even if it's styled like old things. Una Veil, vale. hey, very good to see you. How you doing? Well Thank done. you for the sub. Now, Reese, here's the thing. Yeah, it wouldn't add a Mega 64 skit. No, even though that's like that's very much in League, and even maybe some of their earlier stuff would even be like deprecated enough. But they're still an active creative outlet, and they need to own the views on their stuff. Uh, I guess I guess theoretically the best thing would be to add like a 15 second clip, like something that doesn't give the soul of a of a creative work away, or or take ownership of it for the purposes of keeping people on this stream watching ads and, and subs or something like that. Uh, there's also, I think, value in like clips of things that can raise awareness that like lead to new cool stuff. So like if there were clips for Mega64, somebody might be like, what's that? And then people in chat say, oh, that's over here. Link, boom. Hopefully there's a new, there's a new customer, new viewer, new buyer of shirts. So th that's, that's kind of how I think about it. It's not a very, I don't know. So yeah, hopefully through all that, Putting like a modern good music video on there feels a little out of bounds. Like Rebecca Black's Friday, right, would be perfect, except hopefully she still gets money for people that listen to it. And she's still an active artist, so. Okay, let me see. Oh yeah, one more arena fight. To me, the, the, for some reason, the cutoff is lower if I just impulsively decide to watch something. Camera gone. Oh, we finally lost it, huh? Uh, well, I guess I kind of predicted it. Yeah, camera overheated. Genez. It does that on toasty days. Main system. Activating combat mode. Do you have a PNG mech, mech cam like your little guy in a cockpit? Let me. I don't offhand, but maybe I can throw something together real quick. Let's see here. If there's like a, I mean, if there's like a cockpit with transparency, then I can just throw that on top and we're good to go. But no, I think that would take some. That would, that would take some doing. That'll take some cobbling together of assets, I think. Especially because it'd have to be the outside looking in. I can see, I hit, get some stuff from like inside, so that doesn't really help. Okay, well, let's fire up the old, uh, let's fire up the old, uh, PNG avatar. Let's fire it up. Does it ruin, does it ruin the illusion? Wait, that's weird. Oh, it's like running twice. Oh, no. do that. Oh, wow. That was smart. OBS just grabbed the next one. I guess it did it by Windows name. You need this for Riddick roleplay. What is this? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Those are classic. Didn't, uh, like Flavor Flav wore those all the time, right? That is some, some peak Y2K cringe right there. Chrome Core. An aesthetic utilized in Batman and Robin. It all connects. Boom, dead. Seems to be overheating a lot more than before. Well, it's hotter. Yeah. 
target destroyed. It got hotter. The data will be integrated. It's really it got hot, like there's another heat wave this weekend basically. Um yeah, it's 86 degrees right now. Probably a few degrees hotter in this room. That seems that seems excessive. I feel like a camera should be able to stay on, right? It's it's actually more of a photo camera than a video camera, so I don't think it's too concerned with venting heat. Incoming cars. I should try to set up just another little. Thank you for your continued support. Fan. <laughs> we have obtained some very useful like a data. USB fan. That just Knowledge blows air on it. That that would probably help. Yeah, tiny fan. I just don't want more stuff. All mine's evolution is just Gear. beginning. I have an idea. I have a desk fan, and I don't. I I've started using this other fan because it's kind of more chest level. If I have a desk fan and it's on, it's pointed directly at my face. So. And that's just by virtue of having no floor space on my desk, so the fan is sitting on top of a subwoofer. Anyway, uh, since I'm not using it really, if it gets hotter I will, but for now I can just turn it to the side and point it at the camera. Hmm, let's see if that works. Hopefully you weren't looking at my goodies. I keep forgetting about camera framing. Okay, let's give it a little while. Let's see if that if that cools off the uh, the old camera there. They were very huge and very visible. Good. Good. Is the stun dart an energy weapon? Tee hee. Don't look at my goodies, chat coon. I'm gonna guess eliminate the enforcement squads is probably the one that I did. Yeah, okay. Might as well do the other one. This request comes from the Rubicon Liberation Front. Let's see what it says. Raven, we have a mission we'd like to offer you. I think this fan is too gummed up. <laughs> it's actually turning really slow. The Cataphract, a special forces weapon specialized for ground combat. If we allow the corporations to seize this kind of technology, things will take a dire turn. We want you to deny them the opportunity. Destroy the weapon first. The Cataphract is a moving fortress equipped with almost impenetrable armor. It incorporates a bipedal MT as its core, making it a highly versatile threat. That MT core is also yeah. its vulnerability. Focus your fire there, and it can be beaten. I'm still here. For our best chance. What do you say? Destroy the Planetary Closure Administration. Special Forces Craft. Cataphract. Cool. Yeah, Bongo, does that does that ruin immersion? I don't know. Am I the only one brave enough to have both a cam and a VTuber avatar, but also not have it be my face? Keanu, uh, there's like a there's a suggestions channel in the Discord you could use, or you can just whisper. Whoa, this boy dripping. Uh, he's really, he's really cute. 
This is gonna be sad. That leak of yours started all. You can really see the like armor though. Damn. Gatlings are barely barely hurting. Is there I could there were little legs in there! There's a little dude! Right? I saw little legs, right? Yeah! They like they tuck up when he was when he rolls around. <laughs> That's so cute! Oh shit! Cool. Over. Goodbye. Sending combat log requesting verification. Awesome. The cataphract has been destroyed. Mission accomplished. That's some Forget great stuff from 2013. Ooh. Okay. Are always trouble. Yeah, I really need to pad out the the aughts. And now 2010s. What are you doing here on Rubicon? I don't. Teton, I have failed missions, but I don't think I've died. It's been real chill so far. I'm grateful for that. One new message. Oh yeah, Bata, there's a Thank you for taking the cataphract mission. Uncle Flatwell was pleased. He called you a valuable asset. With your help, maybe we can beat the corporations and the PCA. No, we need to stand on our own two feet. That's how we'll win. Okay. Man, chapter three, huh? Yeah, Teton, for real. Um, New Game Plus feels like... From a friend. It feels like the whole thing is a victory lap. ...to pin down where the coral is gathering in the ice field. According to my friends... I think the OS tuning helps a lot, too. That really takes the edge off of nearly everything. You heal for more, you take less damage, you do more damage. It's like every single edge is sanded down. Oh, this, this mission. Nice. Tried any of the rifles since the patch. Yeah, I saw that. Rifles got big upgrades. Uh, I haven't tried it. No, I mean, it's hard to step away from the Gatling guns. They're too good in every situation. But if the rifles are like... Like, just drills at a distance again. Because I really like the rifles in... Uh, Pretty much, like, I even across 4 PC answer and 5, so the rifles were very, very reliable in a lot of situations. Right now, the corporations are preoccupied with the PCA. Oh yeah, the, the, uh, the SMGs got to big upgrades too. The coral is converging. I was excited to see that. I did like the idea of SMGs in this game. Especially if it's like, gosh, if, if you can essentially do an SMG melee build. Where you get a stagger and then immediately hit with a like a high scaling melee weapon. That'd be really, really fun to play. Just crazy one two hits. Alright. This is the mission that took me like three and a half hours. Because I had to stop stop and do Final Fantasy Raid. Yeah, it also, there was like a, some AI that was just stuck on a building or something. So it took forever. Let's keep looking, Raven. Okay. 
Can I speed run it this time? It's kind of weird being back in this level after just combing this map for like 20 minutes. Such a pain. Well, wow, just dead. is like it's off it's it's not a game it's just an action sim at this point good god now we know what happened to the drone fortunately the data we found helps to identify where the last ecm device is wow whale lover 95 thank you for the sub I'm enjoying the content on the new channel. Congratulations on the launch. Thank you. I'm just lucky to, to be invited to be a part of it. The control device isn't going anywhere. Take your time, Raven. I'm just grateful that like there's enough people who want to do something together. And uh major major props to Bruce for getting all the momentum going. Especially like while being a new parent and everything. Gosh. That's the last of the control devices. We'll have Walter back after this. 6-2, do you read me? Do you read me? You've got PCA incoming. Oh, Private Futterwhacking, thank you very much for the sub. 20 months. That's a good amount of months. That's a good amount of months. Nice. Nice round. Don't tell these people. Don't tell these other subs, okay? I often get very offended at... The shittiness of the number. It's a numerology thing. I get mad. So mad. But I can't. I gotta pretend it's fine. Because you know there's subs and all. 20 is actually the best. It's actually the best. So I'm sorry, but I have to you have to ban you now. You've hit the best number. It's the only it's the only way to the only way to preserve. To make sure you'll stay as beautiful now as you always will be. Got that backwards. Whatever. Huh. I'm fighting a, I'm fighting a robot here. I'm, fi I'm shooting a robot over here. Yeah, that means something different now. Show them the meaning of New Game Plus. It's so weird to play this game and not have like a series of stress-induced heart attacks. Looks like you did it. The ECM fog's cleared too. Now my friend can get back to surveying. 
What? What was all that at the end? Were there like little guys you had to turn on? Those missions are still around in the new game plus playthroughs. Yeah, people implied as much. No new messages. I just haven't run into one of them yet. Raven. Oh, that's right. The drones. Yeah, you hack them and then they go up and help you in the fight. I forgot about that. That's actually a really cool uh, level mechanic they have. There must be more to Xylem. And to Walter's friend. Alright, let me see if I can turn my camera back on. Okay, I can feel there's actually quite a pleasant breeze on the camera. No memory card. Do you think it's going to do the, the head finding thing? No? Okay. I think we might be in business. Keep the VTuber thing up too. I'll use too much electricity. Oh, God, I got a, there's a loose screw down there. Put camera into freezer. What's the story with the Los Santos shirt? I just wore it all the time back when somebody made that little bit of fan art. I've got a job for you. Early Funhouse days. It was a good shirt. And I really like GTA, so. force has finally started to affect my own business. The spineless coyotes jumped at the chance to become their lackeys. Now they're feeling ambitious and sniffing around RAD territory again. Let's say this calls for fireworks, and I've got something that'll blow them away. Big missile. The coyotes can be ungrateful, though. They're bound to come running to stop the launch. That's where you come in. Intercept them and defend the missiles. Hmm. Oh, this we'll one wasn't sure so the bad. The coyotes and the PCA get a chance to see RAD's famous fireworks. Okay. It's yeah, shout out to Turbid. Jess still swings by the stream chat every now and again. She showed up in a lot of those GTA gameplays. Cauliflower. Some of that GTA crew is still around. It's kind of cool. Um, oh, Nozetsu. Hey, thanks for the sub. Thanks for covering the previous AC games this year. Never played the series. Glad knowing its history thanks to you now that I'm loving 6. Yeah, that to me it really has just enhanced my appreciation of 6. Seeing all the ideas that they went through, and you can kind of see just like it's it's really the like greatest hits in terms of good design decisions in AC6. So many things have been condensed down into mechanics that make sense, uh, and the ones that don't have been reworked or just removed. It's yeah, it's great. It's so good. The really the masterwork with mouse aim is something that I'm still savoring. I haven't played any game that. Hold on a second. I got. I haven't played any game that has like a targeting and mouse look system like this one does, and it's awesome. It's such it's such an incredible intersection of like uh, like mechanized aiming, having that be a stat, and then also like controller aim and the concessions you typically have to make for controllers, like uh, auto aim or aim lock on and stuff like that. It makes sense in the context of the game, uh, and then the mouse look doesn't give you like immediate superiority based on how characters move. It's so good, uh, and. Mechs always did We're kind of move set. like that, thinking about classic armor core. If they just do this, then like mouse aim doesn't really save you. Oh yeah, haven't met. Chatty's our systems admin. Doesn't talk. But much, it helps. But he knows his stuff. Anyway, no time for pleasantries. We've got coyotes to deal with. I thought they'd end up palling around with the PCA. Smart. I'm so grateful because that's like that's a. That's a thing they didn't have to bite off. They could have just not. Or they could have, like, lerped it. Made it like God of War, where you're just not allowed to turn. But it's 
Instead, they made it perfect. And they're not even, like, PC developers, really. That's what I like to see twice. I don't, I don't know about, like, Digital Foundry's Redux or anything like that, but by, this is, like, a really, really good PC port. Right? I don't know if anyone else had problems with it, but, like, the fact that it supports mouse aim and, like, you can bind all the buttons. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, like, oops. They're coming from the bridge. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm just grateful that it hits, like, don't hits good marks. It's like, that's rare for PC. It's all, it's super rare for a Japanese PC developer. PC is such a small thing in, in Japan. I'm gonna hope that, that like, P, the PC market around the world motivated them to make sure that the PC version of the game was, was up to snuff. I'm, I'm so grateful that it seems like PC is worth enough money now to actually give a shit. Yeah, rare for FromSoft. I really hope it's the sign of, like, what we can expect in the future. Not only from, from, from FromSoft, even though that's, like, one of the best developers you could have dropping good PC ports. But from, from other developers. In the sense that it's like, if it's worth it, if it's worth FromSoft's time, Hopefully it's worth everyone's time. Hopefully that's where the the market is. baited out by the smaller enemies and even that happened twice in a row actually hey <laughs> video hates poor people finally someone brave enough to say it Shit. I forgot about this. A warship? Looks like the bigger dogs have arrived. Laser suit. Don't let it burn you. Batter up, tourist. Sir, you see a That's the stuff. Thanks for the pre-show, tourist. There's a launch sequence. Complete chief. Ready when you are. You're the best, Chatty. Yeah. Here come Huge the Gundam moment. There's there's one later. There's Enjoy. like a scumbags. <laughs> Tourist. There is the predicted impact point. There's a pretty big Gundam level later on. Especially if you have a melee. Looks like I was a little off. Well, close enough is good <laughs> enough for me. Eh. Fireworks. Hmm. What a gentle breeze. I think I've done it. Let's let's see if my camera overheats. Maybe this will fix it. You again. I'm a busy man. Far too busy for the likes of you. So I hear. Must be a tough time to be the Vesper's deputy commander. Get to the point. The plan to raid the PCA. You're going to need more pawns on the board. 
Of course. You're here to hawk your services again. Very well. I'll consider that mutt of yours part of the effort. One more thing. Show my hound some respect. Gen 4 is as good a pedigree as any other. Thank you, Walter. Sticking up for me? Is this a 100% lore playthrough? No. Because I've, I've already missed pickups and encounters and stuff. I'm just playing through. I'm just smashing my way through the game. Trying to get a different ending. The chief loved working with you, so don't be a stranger. Hey, old chatty. That's all I had to say. Later. Later, bud. Attack the old spaceport. Hey there, buddy. Got a request from Mark. Structured like Star Fox 64 or something. Here's the Actually, yes. Yes, that's plan. a really good point. That's a really good comparison. You don't see the whole track, but yeah, there's there's mission branches. Um, in previous armored cores, it would even matter what you did inside a mission would like authority. determine a branch. A but I don't think that's the case in this one. I think it's just the missions you take and whether or not you have to pass fail them. Raids on two planetary closure administration bases. One is the Hall of Communications base, the relay for comms between enemy squads. The second is the former Bertram spaceport, seized by the PCA for its suppression fleet. V4 Rusty will be dispatched. And this Star Fox hit out became it's become Nintendo Sonic. They still make Sonic games though. His objective will be to disable their network and prevent support from PC elite squads. Yeah, Nintendo kind of tried with Star Fox for a bit Raven, there. During this time, you must destroy all the heavy. They tried making them, then they let the Platinum Space Games launch. make one, and I don't know. It's just not going. It's just not working. Nintendo has a few of those though. But there's a catch. F Zero's collecting Disruption dust. Disruption of PCA comms won't last long. I'll come support you when I finish on my end. Hey, what's up, Undead Mesh? Good to see you. Yeah, Metroid. Nintendo throws their franchises a bone every so often. I, I think they like. I think they like to do occasional market testing. They'll like try a smaller project with a brand or an idea to see if it's got legs. But I think a lot of their a lot of their smaller franchises like Metroid. Um, they give it a shot and it just doesn't sell, so they're like, right, what are we okay. Although, um, man, with with these rumors of a new Switch, this 4K60 uh, DLSS up-res Switch, Prime 4 seems like it's going to be a launch title. Like that, they haven't announced it yet. They haven't even started talking about it. So, it's either going to come out like on the Switch four months before the Switch 2 or it's just going to be on the Switch 2 and I really think Nintendo would choose a game like that a first person shooter with the art team from Retro Studios making the visuals like that is a good showcase for a, la a system launch and it speaks directly to like a particular market that Nintendo tends to think about like core gamers different from everyone else so a perfect Nintendo launch would be like Metroid Prime 4 or a Zelda even though Zelda has finally gone mass but like Metroid Prime 4 and a fucking new Mario Kart. Always Mario Kart. Uh, so you have you have your mass market title, and then you also have your like gamer title. <sighs> Is Switch 2 them being lazy? Why not some weird new concept? I mean, they've done that. Remember Labo? Remember uh, freaking Mario Kart live action? Whatever that is. Uh, who knows? Who? We don't know. We don't know what it's going to be. It might have some weird shit going on. All the birthed warships. I think it's a fair bet that it'll have functional overlap with the Switch, though. Which is that it'll be mobile, same controller layout. I mean, that's kind of the two, the two acts of touchscreen, I guess. The thing is, if it's a Switch 2, also in terms of, like, software library, they can essentially repitch their entire library again 
which is, n n to my knowledge, never really something they did before. The Wii had the virtual console, and that was a pretty, pretty valuable aspect. But if if it is a Super Switch or an up-resed Switch, then they can say like, if you buy this hardware, all these games now look and run better, which has been the like biggest det detraction. And then also, not not only do they ostensibly have like 100% customer overlap with Switch 1 owners, which is a huge market. But then you can also, like, double dip on the greatest hits of the Switch catalog for the people that maybe didn't get into it or didn't buy those games after owning a single Switch, or the original Switch. So you get a Switch 2 and you're like, Jesus, I wonder what Splatoon looks like on this thing. So there's, like, there's a lot, there's extra incentive, I think, for them to just have an upgraded switch. Maybe it does something wacky on top of that. I'm keeping them busy, but they're working fast. Nintendo doing just a beefier switch with no new gimmicks would be abnormal for them. I could see them having one or two like gimmicky launch softwares. Cuz I think they've shown an ability to use the switch as like a it's a computer platform. So they they'll sell you a a ring for an exercise game or a stack of cardboard to make a piano. Like, they, they can get out there with the, the engineering around the Switch or using the Switch's rails or Joy-Cons as uh, elements in other control devices. So there's, there's plenty of, like, plastic housings they could ship with a game and then you've got a wacky thing going on. So maybe, maybe that's how they, they play it. And I, to some degree, I hope that's the case. That was kind of the, that was functionally kind of the idea behind a Famicom. I mean, they branded it Family Computer because they didn't want to be seen as a game console at the time because of the video game crash. But the concept was you could use the data ports to like plug in all kinds of wacky peripherals. And there were some. There were, yeah, Labo. Um, there were some wacky things for it and the Super Nintendo had some stuff too. That concept kind of died out. It was just like, you just have the controller and that's it. <laughs> Sometimes there were like gimmick controllers, Steel Battalion, um, Donkey Konga. It happens, but I do like the idea of uh, like maybe Switch 2. Maybe the new Joy Cons have some high def motion tech or whatever, and you can just drop one inside of a plastic housing and PCA's external comms are back online. Have more like party games. Who knows? Just theories. Just theories. Just things. So yeah, I think it's possible that Nintendo can can do like a full overlap. They get to have their cake and eat it too. It is a digestible video game platform on top of supporting all no, all sorts of wild noodly gimmicks that <laughs> yeah, UHD Rumble, 4K Rumble. The Joy-Con is a sleeve that you put your hand, your arm inside and it tickles your your skin. It gives you little ticklies. God damn. Your arm, you say. Well, yeah, whatever. That's the beauty of Miyamoto's vision. Is that you can shove whatever you want in there. The tickle sleeve. I call it the tickler. <laughs> it's, not very in it's not very inventive, is it, Miyamoto? Fire that man. Don't employ him. Fire him anyway. Uh, King Whale, thank you for the sub. Handle it. The main squad will be here soon. Come on. So I think they'll consider anything Valve or Asus or etc. have done with mobile gaming? Oh, just maybe. They haven't really done a lot. If if I were Nintendo, the the thing that would be interesting with the Steam Deck is just this is my this is my interpretation, but I think the Steam Deck illustrates just how important it is that devices already extend someone's pre-existing ecosystem um i don't think steam deck would be that interesting if you had to like start over again if you had to buy it and then buy all your games specifically for that and they only work on that i think the expectation now is that there's a lot more um service-based gaming which is to say there's a service that provides you gaming services 
and they're the ones who who ensure that those services work across platforms. Nintendo can kind of be that. Um, I think I think that's also why they can't walk away from the Switch. They're not allowed because the expectation that you walk into Switch Two with every game you bought over the last ten years ready to go is something they they can't like. They can't just say no. They they'd have to have the most powerful gimmick in the world to start over again. And I think their investors would be like, "What the fuck? <laughs> why did you just why did you just say no more to a hundred million Switch owners?" Uh, so yeah, when it comes to Valve and the idea of like scaling games up and down based on the platform, Nintendo can, Dante, they can. They're one of the few companies who could and even conceivably might. But no, I don't, I don't think they will in this case. The safe bet is, is too much of a sure thing. And they don't lose anything by making that either. Because I'm sure they're cooking up weird stuff anyway. So whatever. Um, yeah, that, that, I could see them like taking that from the case study of Valve and the apparent success of the Steam Deck. I'm I love the Brog Ally. That reminds me I need to try Starfield on it. But like it's a it's a Game Pass machine. It's awesome. Maybe they could also look at UI and UX. The Switch is thankfully very minimal. The more that time goes by and the more that marketplaces get kind of nudged into UIs and, and alerts and notifications and things like that, I'm kind of grateful for the Switch just keeping it keeping it 5, five IQ. Alright, where was the other one? There you are. Yeah, we could use that eShop music though. I have to admit, too, I am kind of... Every single media company seem to be... seem to want to fight over perceived value, which is to say they would, they would like, try to... It was a quality over quantity kind of situation. A lot of streaming services. Um, and, then, and most companies that had access to a vault of anything could not wait to sell subscriptions to access it. Nintendo has somehow not done that. Even though they are selling a subscription, it's like extremely reasonably priced, but also extremely reserved. Nintendo has like some cherry picked goodies on there, but they are, it's far from like a game pass sort of situation. Sorry to keep you waiting. But they could, and they don't. I've got your back, buddy. Hope you've got mine. I wonder if uh, Nintendo at some point believes in like Overusing things devalues them. Relay system response. Corporate agency. They seem keenly interested in retaining the the value or, or maybe even value perception of a lot of their their brands. It's an interesting approach. They could have been so insufferable with their their mobile stuff, but it seems like they've largely kept it pretty classy. If Switch 2 finally brings GameCube games to their classic library, that's all they'll need to sell me. Now. Yeah? They're, they also seem pretty uh, temperate when it comes to charging people for nostalgia, which they could also do a lot more of. I mean, there's you have situations like 3D All Stars or whatever, but I'm picking up something. I think they, I think they spend their like they spend their value tokens very judiciously. They don't just they don't just like empty the bag on the table and drown you in member berries. They only use one or two at a time. Oh, that's right. The worm! What? What? Actually, what I have the thing? I have the weapon for it. Is that another PCA weapon? Does the Brog Alley run Dolphin? I imagine it would. I can't get a read on it. Ooh! Give me a little flacking.
It's getting all tuckered out. Rog is a native Windows device. Yes. It, it does everything a Windows PC can do. So, so does the Steam Deck, by the way. Looks like the PCA has helped itself. Although I think Steam Deck might have, some, I don't think it has some like motherboard goodies you need to run Windows 11. Rest up at base. I'll come up I know with that a plan people, Steam Deck owners, are probably not going to cry about that, but. I guess I didn't kill that guy the first time. Here's the situation, 621. After the PCA sicked that Institute weapon on us, Archibus and Balaam have moved to cooperate. IA-02, aka Iceworm. It's a sea weapon. An autonomous deterrent created to protect the coral. If we don't take it out, no one's going to reach the Convergence. We'll have a tough fight ahead of us, and everyone's getting involved. 621. Don't forget we've got a job to do on Rubicon. Do we? I didn't bring you all the way here for nothing. You want to cut me in on what that is? Give me a little hint? No? Okay. No, you're right. I don't need to know. <laughs> Two new messages. Heard the news, tourist. Ice worm, huh? You just keep tripping up over the Institute's relics, don't you? Well, I got something that might interest you. Sent you a briefing. Sorry to impose on you, Raven, but I've just sent you an urgent request. I wish we could deal with this on our own, but we've got no choice but to count on you. Take a look and see what you think. Okay. Is this another branch? No. Hmm. Alright, back to the grindstone. Did I ever... Oh, I did. Okay. Take a break and eat something here in a minute. I'll do that after this mission. I'll cut to the chase. I think I want this is about toast. the ice worm. That institute. I bought this big loaf of sourdough a couple days ago. I better start chomping into it. Corpse might stand a chance if it were just the PCA they were teaming up against. But that monster is a whole other story. You can't just throw bodies at it. The thing that makes it such a pain in the ass is its perpetual reactive shield. Coral Tech. Takes advantage of the coral's directivity. Ordinary weapons can't Directivity? Is that a word? So let's get extraordinary. I can make you something that'll punch a hole in that shield. But oh. I don't need your help. Killendell, you... Do you have like a local stand that sells bread? Oh. One of the first sectors they built. It's barely holding yeah, I've, I finally started finding some places in, in and around my neighborhood in LA here that make their own bread. This this spot uh, only has Those sourdough loaves on word. Friday and Saturday. His AC milk tooth was built by us, so it's only most of the time. It's piloted by him. When he ran from RAD, he didn't just take credits in tech. He also took a secret project of mine. Nothing makes me feel more like. I truly That's live in an area we'll than knowing to where to get fresh the bread there. Shield. Oh, you're in San Francisco? I haven't spent a lot of time in San Francisco. I should, though. You ready for this tour? I'm going to go traveling with my Steam Deck. Thought about getting a mini projector and using it with external storage to have a movie night out in the woods while camping. I mean, yeah, with Steam Deck, you can use. Wait, yeah, it does have a SD slot. So yeah, you can just throw movies on that. And then yeah, it's pretty trivial. Just like a USB-C to uh to HDMI. System activating combat mode. 
I've hooked my All right, Steam Deck and Ally up to like hotel TVs. Welcome to and played games that way. It's a delight to enjoy the company. I've streamed with it in a hotel room, but the thing out the thing I can never get around is that hotel internet is always trash garbage. So the quality is just never good. Any friend of Carlin's is a friend of mine. Here's to new beginnings. By all means, be my guest. Make sure you keep clear of the laser sensors. They're set to activate the enemy machines. A new friend from afar, just for me. What joy. Damn, King Egg, hey. Good to see you again. Thank you for the sub. Catching my first stream since moving continents. Much nicer time zone to catch streams now. Ooh, congratulations on the move. Where, well, if you're trying to keep it hush hush, you obviously don't have to answer. I'm waiting for you, friend. If you're a man of mystery. But where are you now? Before the big dance. I do hope I'll keep up, but the anticipation is. Buy toys like they were his. Oh, Dublin, Ireland to Toronto, Canada. Ooh. Toronto seems like a fun city. Stunned twice in a row. At first percent. Yes. There's your way in. Brute can't be far. We should keep an eye out for traps. I've done my best to welcome you. I do hope you'll enjoy your stay, friend. Oops. Well, the guys are wet. This one we spent sailing. I'm from Toronto. I think it's probably a better city to visit than to live in for sure. Yeah? The target AC was going to Oh yeah, this fight kinda kinda rolled me a couple times. What's undesirable about Toronto? Ah, my new friend. You're here at last. Brute. Oh, oh God. it's expensive. Yeah, I've that heard about that. Me to such wonderful people. The real estate wonderful is just getting things. ridiculous. Shut him up, tourist. Mm, the sweet melody of the generator. How Milkuth's heart sings. We built that AC at RAD, tourist. Don't underestimate it. Where are you, weirdo? Uh, oh, there he is. Just chilling out.
rent is abysmal. Rent is abysmal in Toronto. Public transit is an, an experience. We have two seasons, winter and construction. We'll see about retrieving our secret project. We'll okay, yeah, that, worm hunting. that sounds frustrating. There was literally an announcement this year that said fares would increase and service was being scaled back. Damn. I haven't started Sea of Stars yet, Wowza Bunny, but I want to. I'm excited to play that game. Thanks for putting down Brute. The Chief's already in the workshop tweaking the rail cannon. And I've never seen her happier to be at work. That is all. Yeah? It's amazing. It's just good, good shit. Express. Whoa. Whoa. Thanks for the sub. Oh yeah, I was gonna eat something. All right, I'm gonna go carve off some hunks of sourdough, toast them up, maybe put some cheese on them, maybe a little butter. I might have a yogurt. Uh, so I'll be back. I'll be back after a quick lunch break. This won't take long though, 15 minutes maybe. So I'll be back in a bit. Enjoy Media Tech in the meantime. And hey, thanks for watching. I'm having a great time. Uh, decidedly less Less antagonistic stream of uh, armored cores, a nice change of pace. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. Oh. Miss some gameplay there. Oh, the well. next sample is the Institute AC. I wonder if um. This will be integrated into. I wonder if it's as hot as it's going to get right now. Maybe it'll start cooling off in here. Just in terms of the time of day. That's a really cool looking weapon. Oh, his terminal armor is red. Target destroyed. Concluding analysis. Well done. Oh, you don't remember if you get parts or not? Oh, we got a. We got a real. We got a real mystery on our hands then. That's fine. Get to the bottom of this. Getting more and more OS chips. I hope they just hand it to you in a little sack. Just a bunch of square chips. Little... Little metal bits on the ends. Here are your chips. Integration program, phase three. This will be the final Using a coral analysis. generator? Mmm. The last sample is the AC Nightfall. This will be integrated. This gun is powered by people's souls. Oh, the your generator changes analysis. your boost jack colors. Oh, that's cool. Main system. Activating combat mode. Neat. You got a dodger. But will it matter? Uh oh. Wait, where'd he go? Ow. Holy crap. Working me. <laughs> Terminal armor. Arm number. number. When is win, baby? Yeah, almost got me. Oh, that little cutscene. Target destroyed. This concludes all rounds of analysis. We will assimilate the results into Mind Gamma. We got we got some Chrome Core over here. Oh damn! Oh, is that from Spy Kids? Yeah. <laughs> I've still been waiting to watch Spy Kids. Shade Eye. Look at these parts I'm getting. Incoming car.
Thank you for your continued support. Our analysis thus far has revealed some mission critical items for research. This concludes the integration program's role. The day will come when All Mind's evolution truly takes form. Okay. I guess let me know. Let me know when that happens. Oh, I even have Quick Turn. I'm just not using it. stuff. Alright. Yeah. Just some light foreshadowing. You'll be going into that underground facility. Watchpoint Alpha. I managed to talk Archibus into letting us lead their survey. They jumped at the chance to use... Oh, you can turn while you're assault boosting. You just have to do two in a row, or is there a specifically a quick turn 180? Well, here, I'll try it out. Watch point alpha. No, I haven't finished Baldur's Gate 3, King Egg. I haven't gone back to it after playing it with Bruce that one time. I will, though. I will. Just boost mode back? Oh, okay. 621. You ready? Yeah, that's so cool looking. You'll be going down deep, and there's no guarantee you'll come back. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. Act 3 is pretty undercooked. Has like cherry flavor. Seems like it. Cotton candy. Access the elevator and take it down. Okay. Okay. Mind me. Yep. You have to hold control <laughs> or tab. Just boosting back. So awesome. Watch out. Willow you. Yeah. He's trying to zap me. He's giving me the zaps.
The voice didn't do anything. <laughs> this is the mind of you playing with Bionicle? Is this what you saw when you were tossing your little Bionicle around in the yard? Going down a laser tube? It's changed its combat routine, Raven. Watch out for those plasma missiles. What's the, can someone, someone Bionicle pill me? What's the like, what's the hook of Bionicle? What are the rules of its space, of its drama? Are they all fighting over Biotanium or something? Cool robots? Customizable action figures? They are cool, simple. All right, maybe I'm overthinking it then. just neat okay there's like there's like cartoons and shows and stuff right fighting an evil brother to a creator god trying to restore the life force of said creator god tons of cool villains powers heroes etc okay you've got it in your sights now 621 just yeah what's the lore closer. what's the lore of bionicle what team am I rooting for here? I'm going so slow. Oh no. AP at 50%. You're up close now, 621. Destroy the target. Raven, it'll be easier to immobilize if you aim for the neck joint. No repair kits remaining. That is a big laser. Toa are basically the heroes. Okay, good. I just need to need to know. I don't want to wear my like anti-Toa shirt to the Bionicle convention or anything. Yeah, Teton, thank you for asking the real question. Is there a John Bionicle? Who's who's the main character? What's their what's their story? Toa's a protector. There are multiple generations of Toa. And always six that are generally fire, water, air, ice, earth, and stone. With a seventh light Toa. Ooh. We like the Toas. 
The red one is the John Bionicle of every gen. Okay. It's like Power Rangers. The leader. Here comes the follow-up 621. You're going to be exploring Depth 2. The sector's made up of a sprawling rail network designed to transport resources. It'll be a complex route, with a lot of blind spots. Be ready for close quarters combat. Are Bionicles in relationships? Do they date? There's a gold one that's the real John Bionicle. He's the light one. Okay, the White Ranger. I'm seeing some crossovers here. Yeah. Do Bionicles fuck? Can I fuck a Bionicle? Yeah. Need to clear my autocomplete. Sorry about that, Mom. Don't pay attention to that. Just so you know, 621, my radar won't be able to reach the lower depths. You'll have to trust your eyes and ears. Bye, 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 on uncle. Main system. Activating combat mode. First movies on YouTube free to watch. It was rad. The Bionicle Mask of Light. Alright. Is there a hot single on it? Like a Justin Timberlake song or something? What was the hottest single that Bionicle ever had? Oh, I was also too ripped up for it when it happened. What was the single that they put over the credits in Batman and Robin? Move along? Awesome. I could see smashing your bionicles around to move along. Assuming that's the right song. An ambush. Been waiting for you, Raven. You're gonna die. Raider. Sounds like you found Balaam's and T's. Bye, Balaam. Eliminate them with 61. Thanks, Lockerbot. Is that a secret? Control no, guess not. This should get the power back online. Move Along was used in the commercials for the later Bionicle. Lines? Okay. Kind of killed it. Did they overdo it? Too much move along? Bionicle killed move along, and here's why that's a good thing. The partition should open now. See if you can get access. The heat exchanger section's up ahead. This is around where the comms log for Balaam's advance squad cuts off. Sounds like this is something I need to add to uh, media tech. Huh. People. Weird. So weird to see humans in depicted at all in an Armored Core game. There are two songs in the end credits of Batman and Robin, one by Smashing Pumpkins and one by R. Kelly. All right, perfect. Thank you. Seems we're alone. Kiss, Kiss from a Rose is too perfect a single pairing. Raven. Batman and Robin clearly didn't have anything nearly that caliber. You, you, Batman Forever had U2 and Seal. How do you beat that? You can't. It's impossible. Ow! Now we know why the Golden Bionicle was golden. Cold call won't be a danger to you anymore. The end is the beginning, and the R. Kelly song is literally just called Gotham City. Hell yeah. Big Wazi can't touch me. Whoa. Oh, that's right. What was that? 
Yeah, nope, never got solid solid info on the actual gay codes for Robin. I think people ended up just like people ended up stammering and stuttering and looking foolish and stupid. And uh, I think they ended up just saying, well, in the comics, it's he's more it's more in the comics. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. Is what I say. Bullshit. Bullshit. People people out there just 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 blowing smoke Chris O'Donnell did show his rippers <laughs> Chris O'Donnell letting it all hang out <laughs> yeah like grippers <laughs> ventilation duct identified looks like it's connected to the control room <laughs> yeah Anyway, I didn't- I never thought of Chris O'Donnell's Robin as a gay icon before now, but now I do. So, yet again, every time I watch Joel Schumacher Batman, I always learn something new. Always educational. And it takes real filmmaking genius to make a movie like that. <laughs> See, Captain, you're falling down the rabbit hole that I did. I can tell you, no, nothing but, nothing but pain awaits you there. I don't think these woke up last time. One repair kit remaining. There. That's the control panel. I forced the partitions and the attic back online. I think people see what they want to see. Well, I don't think anyone's been the first to imply that there might be something off about Seems like smooth sailing. a grown man and his little buddy running around in, As in if you hardly need help from tights, you know. You get so good at exploring. Just think about the ambiguously gay duo. Now those were good sketches. Yeah, and green booty shorts. Creamy thighs, milky thighs. Stay out of the sun, Robin. Bad for your health. Be careful, Raven. Sure, but then every superhero is gay coded? Exactly. I agree. They're all gay. Small chum. People in the comics, or in the comics, people recognize Dick Grayson just from his ass. Or does he have a pretty legendary ass in the DC universe? I know that, like, Nightwing's ass became a thing. At 
30%. Yeah, that dude was so tough. Saying I'm gay coded because I allowed myself to be penetrated. Maybe. Let's take a break for now, Raven. That is a valid artistic interpretation of Joel Schumacher's Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. It's just a real tragedy that we'll never get a proper Batman Forever 2. They're continuing 89 Batman in comic form. What if they continued Batman Forever? What if we get around to the real nostalgia? Stop wasting our time. Back to work, 621. Depth 3 is next. It would be fun to see other Batman villains. I guess that's what Batman Beyond was. I was about to say reimagined as is like future neon cybery, but Batman Beyond was kind of that. As long as it's in operation, no one's getting any deeper inside. Is Which Batman Beyond still being job? made as a comic? The laser is powered by a massive reactor. I want you to destroy it from the inside. Imagine there being like 25 years of comic down, lore. We'll it must step into the unknown. Catching up with something like that must be so ridiculous. All the stupid storyline. There's 25 Terry McGinnis clones running around. Walter, it's like he already knows where the coral convergence is. What makes him so confident? Main system, activating combat mode. Laser barriers. Watch your footing. You don't want to fall into those lasers. High level threat detected. Threat level eight. Ah. Defense phase four point zero. Terminating target. This area is defended by snipers. Don't let them shoot you down. Looks like we're the first ones here. Ooh. Hmm. Assistant number two is my name. More lore? God damn. Alright, alright. Yeah, who could assistant number two be? AP at fifty percent. God damn it. I thought I could just ignore it. Uh oh. amount of combat logs up here I never got. 
just all over the place. Yeah, I need to get back into Altered Carbon. It seemed like it was focusing a little too much just on aesthetic. But now I realize that's actually a thing that I might want. Why does there always have to be like a weird jester character? Like a weird clown man. Future cyber clown man. Alter Carbon Season 2 kind of kind of stinky, yeah? It's not, is it like fun stinky or is it just like boring stinky? Very stinky, uh-oh. You know what, Yondo? Wait, some... Either you or somebody else was recommending Psychopaths. Destroy it. The resulting overload will cause the reactor core to I'm imagining there's gotta be an English dub for that. It's easier to take some shows if I can put them on a second screen while I'm doing something else. Psychopass is not a second screen show. Was actually enough going on? I feel like that's pretty rare in an anime. Like, you, you know the episodes where they spent budget. fight being a real pain in the ass too. Oh Sprout, so you almost got the uh, Cheddar Bay Biscuit mix? Was it my mechs Raven, you have to get clear. paint scheme that made you think of that? It's gonna blow. Brace for impact. by lasers. Look, the laser barrier's weakening. The coral's near. That's another solid milestone in our work. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, new Jenny, huh? I'll give it a look. The James Webb Telescope may have found a habitable planet 120 light years away. That's pretty far. How is the trip underground? Cool though. The 
reinforcement system silent at least. Tried to take 621 with it. Good thing it failed. Gotten any new weapons? Well, There's I've seen some available. There's like ones that have been added to the then. store. What about the corpse? Archibus told us to wait before entering Terra Incognita. What's so DMS? The corpse won't be helping each other over the finish line. Yeah. Archibus wants Balaam out of the picture first. Looks like Archibus is gonna win the race no matter what. Short term, maybe. But I <laughs> measuring system. <laughs> going to be the key in the end. And that's ah, why signs I of intelligent life. Which jobs we take. Sounds risky. Our friends must be getting antsy. Maybe. But I think 621's got friends to worry about, too. on the planet's DMs. We've revealed the planet's no search history. Messages. Damn, that's a good telescope. Raven? Oh, dimethyl sulfide? From the Liberation Front to go with the order from Archibus. It was sent by Metal Flatwell. He's the de facto leader of the Liberation Front. Thumb wants to say hey. What it is, Thumb. Okay. Except the red guns, which the Vespers. Dick Gibbler. Thank you very much for the sub. Okay, I did red guns before. Yeah. I don't want to kill the Vespers, though. I don't. Maybe Rusty won't be here. This is a request for Metal Flatwell, the Liberation Front Commander. Raven, I'll get straight to the point. Archibus leads the corporate forces, emboldened by assimilated PCA technology. But they're still human, tired from the endless conflict between powers. Open to an attack on their key forces. We want you to eliminate two of the Vesper's numbered officers. Wait, V5 is that Rusty? Hawkins, their officer overseeing the transport the corps. V8 Pater Never mind. is adjutant. We'll use false information to lure them out from their depth two survey, then ambush them. Thank God. I will assist you on this mission. Oh. It'll be a good opportunity to catch up with a veteran. I look forward to your favorable response, Raven. Alright, let's go. I got a buddy. It's gonna be easy. If he's accompanying you in person, he must be planning to take your measure. The missions have alternate routes. They have different endings, but I don't think the different endings unlock different missions. But there are different mission paths. If that makes sense. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. This will be a joint okay. operation with Metal Flatwell, the Liberation Front commander. They're coming, Raven. Whatever oh, right, it's in English. Right. What could this emergency call from V2 yeah. be about, sir? That's just snail being cooked, sir. Oh, they they dodged before the shots even. Hit. No, looks like we've got wrecked and dead. Hater, open fire. Too late now. We'll try from force. Oh, that was cool. Yes, sir. This will be fun, sir. Oh. Is that fun? You having fun? Aww. No! V5, come in! My man's crying! Aww. 
So wait, you you get your your rank goes up when the other one's shy? You, Peter. Both have been eliminated. So why am I still gun 13? It was later on. Oh wait, different different outfit. Maybe I'll find a comrade in your bed. Oh, he's crying because the other guy was his dad. Oh. Didn't know that one. Candlejack, thanks for the sub. Dropping a sharp 17 in here, sub almost legal. That's good. That's good. We've all been on edge. Seeing your sub around here in those booty shorts. I'm like, nope. Mm -mm. Not gonna look. One new message. In those tight green booty shorts you got your your sub walking around in. Tiny Viking. Hello. About the request to attack the red guns. Sounds like V4 Rusty took care of it. Hmm. Good Michigan's stuff. Dead. Oh. Or he went down fighting. Damn, Rusty. Rusty's the one that did that mission from hell. Crap. The politicians will be fighting their war now. Rusty rocks. Where there's coral. That was probably the one that gave me the most trouble. That's how it's always Having to kill five million MTs on top of like four ACs. Raven. But Rusty just did it. Can love bloom on the battlefield? Survey. <laughs> Hate to be that guy, but 18 months is not legal. It's on Twitch off. time, all right? It's compressed. Still with the laser barrier, we can explore deeper underground. We've received a request from Archibus to continue the advanced survey. There was something else, too. Orders for Raven, advanced survey squad. We've received some concerning information that an AC has been quietly following your trail. Yeah. Archibus cannot tolerate unauthorized surveys that will put its coral interests. This is a simulator risk. dating game. No. If you spot this rogue agent, but I wish it eliminate would. them. There's some other pilots I wouldn't mind smooching up on. Coral, there's blood. Remember that six two one. The tiny Viking understood. Understood and uh, uh, Wilco. Yeah, AC is missing a uh, life sim dating sim layer like Persona. You should have like a day to spend as a pilot in Armored Core Land on Rubicon. You can like hang out with other pilots. Main system. Think about building a bond and then having to kill them because you're getting paid too. <laughs> Maybe if you go on missions and your bond level is high enough, they don't attack you or they help you out or something. Wouldn't that be cool? Just trying to think of all the depressing activities you could do in an Armored Core universe. I'm supposed to go down, right? I thought I saw something up here. Though. I didn't. All right. Uh, We're not wait. Here to smell the roses, six yeah. two one. Okay. Head to the lower depth. Something's jamming the radar. It must be interference from the active coral. Rely on your reasons. Hmm 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 Oh, yeah. Pop slugs. Reading pods for the mealworms. Looks like they're out of commission now. Raven, I'm reading something behind us. It's getting closer. Oh, 
Oh wait, what? Go deal with a mercenary who went to they said. He's already here. Rusty, come on. Figures. Seems both of us are too dangerous to keep around. Come on, Rusty. And the higher ups wouldn't miss an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. Rusty's too hardcore. I hate to say it, but Rubicon still needs me. So, buddy, who needs you? It's a good question. Show me your fighting spirit. Rusty, wait! Oh, yeah, middle flatwell, talk him out of this. Rusty, that pilot's more than just a hound. Out of energy. You don't see the potential. Oh, I see it, Uncle. The potential. <sighs> My AC can't take much more. Oh, he's. Get out of here, Flatwell. Still have work to do. Was I targeting Flatwell? 50%. One repair kit remaining. Get out of here, Rusty. Find your purpose. Then we'll settle this. I guess, I wonder what happens if you let Flatwell finish that conversation. Maybe it's just lore. We've lost all signs of Steel Haze. Uh-oh. He's still fine, though, right? He's fine. He's escaped. Yeah, good stuff. His little pod flew away. Oh, I've tried. They still tr they still kill you. Oh, Flatwell turns on you too. I guess that's why he's. Let's keep moving, Raven. He's a aggressive target. Why would, why would Flatwell attack you? He even tries to tell Rusty to back off. Institute City. Oh. Of course. No wonder we couldn't find it. That's cool. It's like the city from older the armored cores. Head back to base. Oh, he knows you'll beat Rusty. Ah, oh. okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Defeated Unky Flatwell. <laughs> I got bonus money for that. said my man 
Coral Convergence. You yeah. Saw the ruins. Reminds me, I need to water my Monstera. I'm getting better at not overwatering this, so that's good. The fires of Ibis. Monsteras don't don't need a lot of water, it seems. Right there. Waiting. Archibus has ordered us to discontinue the survey and hand things over to their own AC squad. Six two one. We're done with the corporations. Wipe out the Archibus AC squad and get to the coral first. When this job is over. I'll tell you about the last of my friend's requests. Mmm. So now it's basically a free for all to get to for get me, that coral. I... Never mind. Hmm. Just trust your instincts. It's weird that Air, like, she talks like she's in you. And the things that you were around are what she's around as well. Like, she relies on you to make, to move her around. As opposed to being in the ether. Nailed you. After for dead. That wasn't pretty. No, it wasn't. The Archibus AC squad has been eliminated. That should buy us more time. Move out. <laughs> the one like the one catch all I can imagine is that it's kinda it's sort of the treatment you sign up for when you become a mercenary. I guess no they're not mercenaries though, they're like on a team. It's still here. Structure in the distance. Technically, our mercenaries, they just exclusively work for a specified corporation. Oh, okay. Brothers and sisters' voices are stronger than ever. Brothers
because that was a bonus man. Maybe kill them before. I'm trying to remember how many more missions there are. I'm excited to see a different ending. Town. Be here soon. Investigate before they arrive. Liquid coral. Let's see, in a chapter four, there's five chapters. Okay. The coral's rising. Like half a dozen more. Okay. It's building up faster than I'd expected. Raven, I knew Walter was. See how this fight goes. This was a pain, but not the not the worst. It was at least like fair. The Ibis series still functional. Yeah, you're gonna melt it with these weapons. I mean, this is the boss fight that basically pushed me into this build. She's got One some new tricks. Yeah. My God, my God, the Ibis series are ordinary weapons. I don't say to prevent coral disasters. Everything's a security measure to keep Rubicon safe. And now their original masters are long gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stun Needle is so OP. Oh my god. It's so fast. <sighs> it's coming back. Oh, right. I forgot. Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta get away. I remember, yeah, it activates halfway through air sing environment. No! You've nearly got it, 621. You're the only one who can finish the job. Woo. Having more heals, having more health. Yeah, melted. Gotta love it. I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is how New Game Plus ought to be. If you want to, well. I guess what would be nice is if there's whole new challenges. I mean, and there are new missions and stuff. From its creators. Whatever. Once you do it once, they ought to give you the opportunity to walk through it. Oh. Damn it. There was one 
Favorite build for playthroughs? Use the generator with energy firearm specialization. Adds 25 or 50 percent damage to laser guns. Then dual wield laser pistols like a laser cowboy. Yes, yes. I left the subject alive as instructed. That sounds fun. Only a fool would try to outfox Archibus. I'll see that the unruly dog is punished and brought to heel. Here. Sounds exactly like a. Oh, and of course. Empire captain Let's in Star Wars or something. Master either. Brought to here. Arkham seized control of the Coral. And its occupying forces swiftly commandeered the entirety of Institute City. There, they discovered a wealth of forgotten relics. What team am I playing on? Among Probably RLF this time around. That the Institute kept secret, fearing they were beyond human control. We'll see, though. A group of sea weapons bearing the name of the Central Coral Control System. The Ibis series. Archibus also claimed a towering coral siphon, abandoned since the fires. The vascular plant. Yeah. That plant lifts. Now, they toil to repair the plant and extend its reach beyond Rubicon's atmosphere. The Liberation Front no longer had the power to stop them. And the fires of war continued to smolder as the end drew near. So Archibus is about to get free unlimited coral, basically. Raven? I found a message addressed to you. Son? Decoding and playing back. I'm proud. It's your father, by the way. 621. I'm that hot dog Friend you ate two days ago. Request. I'm just happy I could nourish you. Okay. But it survived. Yeah, Walter just wants to get rid of all coral. Because I guess he sees it as the reason that the conflict is never ending. Yeah, and it'll take over reality. Technology went too far. To me. And now it's my turn to hand it on. Six, two, one. Feed the fire. Yeah, it's implied that Walter's father is the guy who invented coral augmentation. I have one last job for you. Find your freedom. Now don't give me the lore yet. I still wanna do my do a third playthrough and see if uh, see if it all snaps together. No, I, I am understanding all the bits and pieces a lot better the second time around, which is exactly what I'd hoped for. This AC, he must have foreseen this outcome and prepared for it. It's time for us to escape. Oh yeah, you get your get your beater MC or AC. Ooh, the Eye of the Beholder trilogy for ten dollars on Steam. Did they ever brush that game up, or is it still just like? Old school. I found some coordinates in the AC systems. He's showing us the way. I had I had one of the Eye of the Beholder games. I can't believe they put us on sewer duty. Is that an AC? Where did it come from? That piece of scrap's alive. That was like the first CRPG dungeon crawler I ever played. I didn't get very far. They're at a disadvantage. Find a way around them. If they do squat you, you'll have to invite them to the That's the jam. Oops.
jump back into that hole kind of sucks. I can't get around him now. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Video record extracted from a wreck. One can see performance tests of unpiloted ACs. Uh, or an unpiloted AC. An officer's voice can be heard in the background. I see no significant difference in performance compared to what an AI can achieve. How oh, very disappointing. This experiment was another failure, then. Regardless, I will have answers. The arrival of ACs brought the age of unpiloted craft to an end, but what essential difference makes them superior? Send a message, message to the factory. Have them leave the torso intact next time. Ooh. The deep lore. Oh, 420 West Coast. Nice one. Wait, hold on. Um, I'm glad I added that one again. There we go. You gotta lean on the soundboard at 420. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. That's what we're here to do. I'll get that door open. Ah, thanks, Barney. A door of weed. Sometimes you gotta spark one up like Ho Chi Minh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and when you're right, you're right, though. He's out of line, but he's right. Is there a weed filter for media tech? Not really. It's more like a combination of, uh... ...of specific categories of clips. Unidentified AC! Is that... Raven? It's like racer trash. Music videos. Horny videos. Jesus. Ow. AP at 50%. Also, yeah, it's just it's just media tech in general. Whoa, damn it! Oh, media tech, exactly, exactly. I mean, it's intentionally curated to be either background noise or interesting if you're in an altered state. That is that is its purpose. Is he gone? What's this? I've checked. It's not a trap. Ooh. Emergency beacon intercepted. Been a while, twist. Good to see you're still kicking. Chief's coming to pick you up. Head to the rendezvous point. your recent IG vid? Are you officially a part of the channel? Um, there's not really any official anything. Walter. Yes. Oh, she has the missile guns. Nice. Don't mind if I No, it's it's not like a We didn't sign contracts or anything, you know. We're just doing whatever. Just, just goofing, just goofing around. friend calls this game a Souls game reskin. It's, yeah, it's super not. I don't, I don't know why anyone would say that if they played it. 
Unidentified AC! Oh! A one, two, you love to see it. Looks like we're clear. We better book it before more company shows up. Sending a chopper. We were dreaming. Are you killing your comrades? I don't have any comrades. Once we've caught our breath, let's talk. About Walter. Looks like those little things give your robot a little back rub every time you come back home from a mission. Standard mode. That's nice. Comms. Nice to get a little robo back rub. Back in your old AC? You were made for each other. The fact that you're still alive means that Walter made the right bet. Alright. You deserve to know what we've been fighting for. I'll get you introduced with the next mission. Yeah, exactly. Garage husband rubbing our backs after a hard day. Thank you, clamp hands, coon. Let me tell you a story, Taurus. After the fires of Ibis burnt the planet oh, Why up. so dark? That's just this game, man. A Armored Core 6 is, is pretty Adding mean and bleak. People Overseas, turn on you, you turn on your the friends. Association of observers. They monitored the coral's growth, ready to burn it before the collapse came. That was their mission. Our mission. Me, Walter, and our fallen friends. RAD was always a front, a side hustle. It's time for me to get back to my real work. Let's get down to brass tacks. You've been to Xylem before, right? The floating city created by the Institute? It's hiding a secret. A little something to prepare against the coming collapse. We need to get to it and fast. RID's entire team of hackers is going to be working to take control of Xylem. I want you to deal with Archibus when they come running to see what we're up to. Oh yeah, this mission. Yeah. Overseer, the Association of Observers. This one's not so bad. It's got the guns you have to turn on. They want to burn the coral. I'm gonna have to turn on Carla at some point. I can't let you burn that coral, Carla. Main system activated. Not this time. Get into position, tourist. It's time. I need you to protect that tower until we've managed to take control. Normalization process K. Deploy Chief. Chief, I've cracked some of the defense systems. Good job, Chatty. That'll buy us some time. Looks like you're in position. Chatty, how much longer till we have control? Give me five minutes, and the corpse will... I'm picking up an Archibus MT squad. Well, I guess it showed up early. Looks like you're up already, tourist. Give him the old RAD welcome. We've got access to support weaponry. Use them if you need the help.
I'm gonna do this super professional this time. Who are you shooting at? Stop it. Yeah, there we go. You're going to get that firewall. I know it. Wait, we've got something else. Just tuned in. Is this guy professional or what? Why'd you notice? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Reinforcements. There's a lot of them. The drones are so silly. Over each other to get your autograph, tourist. Stay on the ground. Working like a dog. Must be Walters. Guys, we're real sick. Whoa. Just one more minute to go, tourist. Left, right, and ammunition at 30%. I have tried the quick turn a little bit, yeah. I just keep forgetting to do it. That is the exact time to use it. Now I'll show you what this city really is. Hacked your building, idiot. Let's use this thing to fire up the world's most raddest game of solitaire. The water level's falling. Can Xylem run Crisis? No. Can it run Cyberpunk 1.0? Of course not. You can thank Walter for the tip. Very anime. Accurate. It is indeed. Walter's parting gift. <laughs> Xylem built like a keycap puller. <laughs> 
What will the gamers resonate with? Let me fill you in on the plan. While you were captured, Archibus finished their work on the vascular plant. Man, everything happens so fast in Rubicon's Armored Core Land. And it won't be long till they take it all. Isn't that what we want, though? We want them to take the coral, so it's not a problem. What we are they gonna do with it, though? Coral before it's too late. I guess use it for weapons and shit. Of More course. inhumane testing. We can't just walk up to the plant and light a match. No, we're going to need something bigger. Oh, jeez. On today of all days. There. Well, figured it out. Hmm. The xylem isn't just our means of reaching the plant. Hmm. You're not gonna believe this. They built a second vascular plant. Now there's two towers. <laughs> Milo, thank you for uh redeeming a gamer stretch. The observer's plan. I'm going to uh I'm gonna get over here and do some toe touches. The corporations or maybe over here. The so that I don't accidentally breeze my junk the past uh the Cyber Claw Cam. I believe in the shared potential of humanity and the coral. Raven, I need to ask you something. Yeah, exactly right, Bongo. That's gonna run a little more than hack coins. Is the next one a branching mission? It is. So yeah, now I got to take out Cinder. Yarp. Uh, I'm going to use the restroom real quick though. So I'll be right back. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Right. Back in there. Back in there. Time to take out Carla. Another branch here. Excited to see the new stuff. Raven, this job comes from me. Air. It's funny that they make Carla the one who saves you. It's more good writing. Like, it, it's incidental, but also it makes this mission... It makes the next things that happen mean more. Because you have that association. The only way to stop the Xylem's ascent is by seizing control of its systems. And that means we have only one choice. We'll take advantage of the confusion while the corporations and Overseer are fighting. And eliminate Carla. <sighs> I understand how you feel about betraying Walter's last wishes and taking on Carla. But still, I want you to give me a chance. I'm not asking Walter's hound, but Raven, the independent mercenary. A man with free will. Viper. Alright, let's do it. Let's get it. The pretty coral lady. Coral waifu will take care of me after this. up on the roof there. If I can just dip out and go do it. Still up here? I was on the other mission. I don't know if that matters. Past the guy. Oh. Under. Oh. Go back towards the start. We 
<sighs> All right, whatever. He's not in this version of the mission. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to kick Snail's ass. I guess I could just... Well, fuck it. I'll just go. This way, I'll see this version of it. Or whatever. Snail's still there? Oh. I don't know where Snail is. Whatever. Whatever. Does that, like, change the ending or anything? Oh, there he is. Jesus. All right. Got a little combo? A little one two? Oh, he like bounced it back. because his augmentations are better. It's like the perfect kind of villain. I am from better stock. You don't even kill him. That's, that's lame. Oh, that's right. He has my gun. <laughs> That's why he could shoot me with it. Or I have his gun, right? I thought it reflected. It's not what it's about! Man. Carl is too good. It's gonna suck killing you, Carla. I want you to know that I'm not looking forward to it. I've unlocked the partition. the muscle memory to like flex my pinky up but not move any of my other fingers is not something I've ever had to do before. Let me tell you my motto, tourist. Get your laughs while you can. I don't know what you're up to. But you better make it worth it. Chatty, you know what we're dealing with. Pin that tourist Oh, I have down. to fight Chatty? I guess that makes Roger, sense. Support. Man, completely fucked up. Woo! 
Okay. Want to tow me, you know. Looks like you made a friend of your own. But it's good to make a choice. You sit on the fence, and you make no enemies. Or friends. One, prepare Shit. Chatty was a friend of the end. Yeah. Control center is locked out. The goodest boy. Let me, Chief. I'll take us over the finish line. Damn, still, still in it. Still in the game. Inheriting privileges. Owner, safe from car. Mm. Activating perimeter protocol. Mm. Silo propulsion vector locked. Oh, come on. Interesting, okay. So some All stuff happens regardless. Out. Yeah. Salutes, salutes for Chatty. Mind Alpha. Oh yeah, I had some other heads that I could check out. No new messages. Uh, the best AI boy. Carla had planned everything, even her own death. Just like Walter, they both wanted someone to inherit their legacy. The Rubiconians are continuing to resist the corporations on the ground, even now. The potential of humanity and Coral isn't the only thing we have to protect. Raven, there has to be something we can do. I shoot shit. That's what I do. Mind Alpha. My energy lit goes way down. But it doesn't look as dumb as this, so who cares? Okay. Ah. I gotta destroy the- I gotta destroy Xylem now, basically? I'll explain our mission. Carla's last strike has rendered the Xylem inoperable. There's only one way left to stop it from colliding and igniting the coal. We have to take the whole thing down. The lower drive block is powered by large Skirmian generators distributed throughout the area. If we destroy all the generators and stop the ramjet engine in the upper city sector, then we can crush the Xylem into the Aulian Ocean without impacting human life. I, one more That's step. right, there's no one on this I ship, right? Apart from the people to fighting over it. To our aid. We have allies? Beyond scorched skies, Raven fights on. Yeah, when is the Coral gonna pitch no in a little bit? Rubicon's destiny as much as you have. Come and see what the name Raven means to them. Yeah, Coral just vibing. Let's go, Raven. Yeah, fully RLF. 
So the RLF are humans that are living on Rubicon and fighting for its independence. But also the people living on Rubicon have like started to merge with Coral basically? Or is it when they die, they're like spirits transfer into the Coral network? I do like uh I do like science fiction that basically that that basically forces you into making a decision about transhumanism. Like, how, looks like the guest of honor's here. How much would you be willing to say goodbye to in the interest of becoming something new? I thought I'd be rubbing shoulders with the liberator of Rubicon. Ah. Uh. Every Rubiconian who heard your cry rose up to fight. Rusty's loyal to Rubicon. Let's show them there's a future for Rubicon beyond these scorched skies. Yeah. And that inspirational music? Hmm. Main system. Activate you like the end of Mass Effect 3? No, I don't remember. Like, I, w I was thinking more like Deus Ex 2. Where you have to make decisions on behalf of the human race, knowing that they probably won't be able to make those decisions themselves. So wrong. But it's good teaming up with you again. What happened at the end of Mass Effect 3? A better silver lining. I can't remember. This is a silver lining. I agree, Rusty. Look at us. Stone Cold Bros. A number one homies. Doing it, doing it, and doing it well. Let's clean up, buddy. Hmm. Oh, that's right, it's synths. Merge with synths, kill all synths, enslave all synths. I forgot that that's what it boiled down to. Looks like the Liberation Front is broken into institutions. It's weird that in a narrative about, like, you should hear this. aliens beyond the stars coming to harvest us for biomass, that the major story is about synths. But whatever. Whatever, man. Confused writing, I guess. You need to have your video game villain and also something that makes players go, hmm, be morally. I gotta play through Mass Effect again one of these days. It's time to point the Schneider AC. Sounds like quite the party down there. Love to see all my hard work. It's hitting me. It's the, it's the drone. many runs now in this mission? This is the first time I've played it. That's the machine from Grid 086. Huh? Looks like we got our work cut out for us. It'll be just Whoa. like when we climb the, the wall. What was that all about? It like launched me back up. Okay. 100% oh. Oh this thing. Oh that's fun. It's like a boss rush. Saying it, and I just keep loving it. Oh, oh!
I always wanted to believe the best in Mass Effect Andromeda. But by that point, I was already kind of over, like, Bioware's sort of middling approach to writing and content. Counting on you, buddy. Like, uh, they they were just like well down into trying to make games specifically to appeal to people versus making games that had like really cool ideas in them or art, any kind of artistic aggression. It, it was just pure audience status, like audience fellatio. Now I, I don't know about Andromeda. Mass Effect Three was fully that though. It was just like utterly. It only existed to like make it try to make everyone as happy as possible it ended up being really bland especially when they misinterpreted what people wanted which is the best like like massive tits i'll always bring it up because it's always amazing don't let him get any closer you're out of luck there's only one person who can keep up with me is there a mod that makes there must be it gives it give everyone even more giant honkers I gotta find the most tasteful mods. Yeah, people got mad horny with Mass Effect. Oh my god. Hmm. Is there like... I want a mod that puts big ripe titties on everyone. I want to play Male Shepard with just the most... The most thundering pair of, of boobs. Freddy Prince Jr.'s character had some incredible jugs in Mass 3. I remember being in awe of the wideness of that boy. Vega? Man, he was awesome. I think when you walk in on him, he's like busting out some pull-ups too. It's like you walk into a David Decoteau movie. He's just like, uh, uh, hey, what's up, pal? Yeah, it's the whitest. He's like a Dorito, man. But fuck me, I hate him as a stand-in for Grunt or Rex. Is that is that what you thought? I guess yeah. He's the big guy. He wasn't nearly as like grumpy and taciturn as those characters though. Finished work on Balteus. They have, there's like an upgraded Balteus. You kidding me? They really are doing a boss rush, huh? That's cute. Raven the independent mercenary. You're not the mutt I thought you were. Oh. You're below that. You are vermin. Is, is Snail piloting it now? Archibus Pulse. Oops. It would be kind of interesting if, like, that's how they, uh, that's how they have patterns get mixed up. Like, same, same, uh, same weapons, different patterns, different timings, different strategies. Xylem. Yeah, okay. I see the disco. Oh, I should have let him attack a little more. Oh, 
There's some lyrics going on too. Sounds like it's over. I just about managed. Uh oh. Rusty. Rusty's Rusty signal just disappeared. Rusty. Raven, it seems we've got trouble ahead. We need to take down the xylem fast. They've kind of already established that Rusty is OP as fuck though. So I don't know what killed him. Or what got him. I guess we'll see. Maybe a coral did it. Something, something coral. Augmented human, C4621. Entering standard mode. Bring down the xylem. Concludes chapter. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's so sick. The space missions? I keep forgetting that it's that big. The Xylem is beginning its descent. Now, we just need to destroy the Ramjet engines. Let's put an end to this, Raven. We're going home. To Rubicon, the world you saved. Let's go home. Do I get to be a Coral Man after this? Maybe that's how I can regain my humanity. By merging with like we'll a collective consciousness. Be made to escape once we're finished. I have yet to play a game all the way since Cybernator slash Assault Suits Vulcan, where you you get to play through a level where you're entering a planet's atmosphere and you crash on the surface. It's the coolest thing in the entire planet. And video games don't often, like, really ever have levels where that is. Look at how cool this is! Oh, this is so sick. Americans pronounce coral like ca Carl? Carl? ODST had a, had a cutscene. That's not the same thing. Coral is in Carl. The Carl. Did Halo 4 have a mission? Ashra's Wrath? God, I gotta play through Ashra's Wrath again. There's no way to play... Wait, no, that came out on PC, didn't it? There was a PC port of Ashra's Wrath. No? Fuck. I want to play a version of it with, like, scaled-up resolution, higher frame rates. The works. That game would be so sick. Okay, you can do 4K60 and RP... RPCS3. That's gotta look so dope. Oh is shit. That, is that you? Rusty! You have to fight. Ultra Instinct Rusty. Or is it Walter? Never mind. I mixed up the voice for a second. Ultra Instinct Walter. Dispose of you. Uh oh. Walter! Let that AC. Picking up a coral response. Watch out! Corporations. Walters. My friends. Mission.
that he could see her at the end. He finally got coraled up enough. That beautiful tragedy. Well, I mean, if he's if he's dying there, though, he should be going into the live stream, right? So maybe he'll meet Ayer. Although, how ironic would that be? If he goes from wanting to blow up all the coral to merging with it. Look at you, 621. You found a friend. Aww. Yeah, you can do this the first time through the game. I s I'm a little scared to think about how hard that fight would be. Raven. Oh man, that's so rad. One day, humanity and Coral will thrive together. You kept our potential safe. But Archibus has control of it. To collapse. I guess Coral's gonna grow beyond their con Archibus's control either way. way. Raven. We'll find it together. Cool. All right. Yeah, I c that's definitely a way happier than the other one, at least for the near term. The implicate the long term implications of that ending are a bit more troublesome. But Neat. Get to be with Ghost Mom. Alright, so... It seemed like it's a pretty binary choice. Where does the third ending enter in? Is there... When you do New Game Plus Plus, are there specifically new missions that lead to, like, a third ending? Is it pretty easy to see? You will see? Okay. Okay. There's just new stuff. Only true gamers can see it. I have to have game sight. I have to put G Fuel in my eyes. Little, little doubt. <gasps> yeah, the rarest pixels. Maybe now that I've done this ending, I get Coral Sight. And I can hit a button to pulse the menu with, like, red. And it'll mark missions that take me to the true ending. I have Riddick Coral Eyes. My eyes are augmented. <laughs> My vision is augmented. Yeah, HD glasses. Blue blockers. Notice they don't really hawk that shit anymore, huh? Those blue blockers? That was some dumb bullshit, man. Unless they still do. Maybe they do. I guess a lot of devices have night mode now. But... Dante, did they actually help with your headaches? Okay. 
and wear night vision goggles when gaming. You motherfuckers just reaped the whirlwind. It helps you see more of the game, right? Okay, I think there's a cricket outside. I thought my fan was like making this high-pitched chirp. Yeah, you gotta catch all the infrared pixels. Some might say those are the rarest pixels. Oh, what's next? I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to um Well it was either gonna be Immortals of Avium or Starfield. I might just go to Starfield. I didn't think a run of uh, Armored Core would take six hours. I thought it was going to be more like four. Pac-Man. Susan has its own brand manager. That's cool. Or sorry, Pac-Man has its own brand manager. It's Susan. Yeah, Day John. I'm going to do New Game Plus Plus this week sometime. I got to New Game Plus in Starfield. So I won't really be spoiling anything. I basically want I want a stack of money so I can rebuild my ship. That's project number one. Is the main story that short? I just kind of focused on it. Um, I wanted to get it out of the way. Oh yeah, Captain, I saw that. F-Zero stuff? People seem to have like narrowed it down and agreed that it's going to be an F-Zero GX remaster or re-release. That's awesome. Those are my thoughts. I think a remaster would look... It would look really good on a current Switch, and it could look amazing on an upgraded Switch. Haven't found the Rogue Muscle Gear yet. I mean, my, my inventory got reset as well. Thoughts on the Starfield New Game Plus gimmick? I mean, mechanically, I like it. Uh, Story-wise, it's it's cute. That's kind of kind of all right. Bethesda managed to co connect a few wires that they struggled to connect in the past, so good for them. Respectful nod. But I don't know that it was necessarily like mind blowing. I don't know. I've seen some people. I've seen some people speak up the. Maybe, like, dump a little heat on Starfield's story. Uh, uh, it's fine. It's fine. At least I finished it. It's the, I, let me see. I never finished Skyrim. I never finished Fallout 4. So, it was interesting enough to follow through. You made me an AI armored core? Cool. Look at this robot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that does kind of look like me. I just need to put my glasses on. What was the prompt? Uh, gamer robot? Yeah, F Zero? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I feel like enough, and if the, let's see here, if the viral reaction to Planet of the Base is anything to go by, the F-Zero GX soundtrack might finally get the respect it's been denied for these decades. I did play Chrome Hounds, the dude. I didn't play it much. I respected it. But yeah, I didn't get super into it. It's cool, though. I liked it. Yeah, maybe maybe Y2K hyper EDM dance music will finally ha have a place in the zeitgeist. I agree, Captain. The F-Zero GX soundtrack is absurd. It's too good. It's, it's very aughts, but for once, that's not something that should be held against it.
Raven. You took on my hopes. My selfish dream. Now, I want to see the future that you choose. Whatever waits ahead. I'll support you. All right. I got a sidekick. Ho! Oh. Oh. Ho! Right back. Right back to it. Ooh. Oh. I got I got Pappy's loadout, huh? Registration number RB23. Call sign Ray. Defill Dozer. Thanks very much for the sub. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. Looks like you passed the authentication. Hmm. You've got plenty of experience. Should be ready for whatever Rubicon throws at you. <laughs> Chad Walter actually I pilots a usable AC unlike other final bosses. Take a look, or even handlers. Not afraid to get out there. Stomp around a little. Neat. Okay. 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 Okay, I'm going to switch it on over to Starfield. And it's just going to be random space adventures. Uh, goal number one is to like... Yeah, to get some money together so I can rebuild my DVD of Chronicles of Riddick ship. I've been trying to grab some skills that will help me, like, access better parts. But ironically, early on in the game, you they just don't have that many. So I don't know when or how you more parts get added to the ship designer, but... Don't have a whole lot to work with, but anyway. We're gonna make us a new ship. We're gonna start bumping around. Yeah, time to starf. I gotta refind all my weird little dudes. They're back out there again. Uh, oh, it's level-based. Huh. So, Junk, um, I'm not going to be playing the main story, really. I guess I can understand if you don't want any spoilers at all, but it's just going to be bumping around, uh, doing side quests and messing around with shipbuilders and stuff like that, so. Uh, but, I get it. If, um, yeah, if you don't want to see it at all, I understand. Okay, I'll be right back uh, with Starfield. See y'all soon, and hey, thanks for watching. I do love sharing these games with people. And uh, Starfield seems like it's really fun to share. All right, I'll be right back. See you soon.